Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Corn's Quest. How is everyone doing at this very special uh, early live stream? It is 1.29 right now for me. It is 1.29. <laughs> How's everyone doing? What's up, Tommy? What's up, Nelson? What is up, Cynical? What is up, Aster? What's up, Timbo? How is everyone doing? It has been such a long time, but that is A-OK. -okay. Special shout out to the member questers um, for becoming members of the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And shout out to everyone that has been donating so far. We're going to be doing a very long, very fun charity stream today. We're continuing on with our Pokemon adventure in the world of Scarlet and Violet. We have unfortunately taken some hits to the team, but that's okay. We're gonna like, we're gonna use today and we're gonna take some time from now until like 4.30 p.m. Central Time. So like, what's that, it's an hour? It's like, oh no, it's another two, wait, it's just two hours. Wait, hold on, 1.30 to 2.30 is an hour, 2.30 to 3.30 is an hour, 3.30 to 4.30. Okay, no, we're doing a three hour stream today. It's a three hour. <laughs> it's gonna be, uh, this is just a fun thing I'm doing for the charity event, just to raise more awareness uh, because I did not have a stream on Wednesday. So we're just kind of doing something a little extra. This is not going to be a consistent stream day. Just a little something fun. A little something fun to do. Um, and let's look at the team, y'all. Yes, we got Blitz. So we have Howard, the Psyduck. We got Chonkula, the Lechonk. We got Sunny D, the Sunkern. And we got Blitz, the Shinx. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We've unfortunately lost a couple Pokemon, including our starter Pokemon. But, you know, we are, we're going to make headway. We're going to make, we're going to make some good headway type of thing. We're going to still figure out who to fight. I'm going to send out Psyduck to go fight some people. And we're going to try and find more people that need to fight, that need a battle. We're going to try to find more people to battle while Psyduck is running around defeating people. Come back, Psyduck. But yes, yeah, Rip Jamer. We had Jamer on the team. That was such a bummer. That was such a bummer. Am I allowed to catch shinies? Yeah, I can catch shinies if I happen to find them. The biggest thing is, I don't know, like, where... <laughs> like, I mean, if a shiny pops up, I'll catch a shiny, but... I feel like they're gonna be pretty far in between of, like, being able to actually be found. I'm trying to see where... I might have to just keep moving forward to fight trainers. I might have to just keep moving forward. But we'll see. We'll see. Luckily, I'm pretty good at, like... I was doing, you know, decent. It was just this random trainer. This really random trainer. This random trainer really just took over the whole team. Really just took down the whole team. Hey, that's all good, Cynical. Lurking is more than appreciated. We love the lurking. And just like Streamlabs is saying, remember to donate. This is a charity stream for the World Wildlife Fund. For those of you that don't know, we've been running this charity stream, Stream 60 for Earth, for the World Wildlife Fund for quite some time now, where we are going to be, we are raising money for the World Wildlife Fund in order to help combat climate change by having an interesting Pokemon playstyle, we're going to be, you know, we're doing this thing of we can only use Pokemon whose real world counterparts are based off of like the different levels of the IUCN's red list uh, of threatened species. So I'm going to see eight. It's probably fine. Can I pay with LP? Yeah, there we go. But yeah, it's, it's a good time. It's a good time. Wait, okay, wait. A real life thing of all the rare colors of certain animals are just mostly innate. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. There are like, yeah, there's a couple different animal species out there that have like some unique like colorations and stuff to them, but they're just kind of, you know, like they're not as noticeable or like you don't see, they're not as common because yeah, they're super hidden. <laughs> I'm not going to battle this guy because I tried battling him and I lost. I ended up having to run away or something like that. I, I dealt with his battle in my own way. So we're in Area 5, which actually means I think we can catch a new Pokemon. Early on in the stream, catching a new Pokemon. We're going to run in a straight line and see what we find. Oh, I got to turn that way. Oh! 
Okay, Makahita. <laughs> Makahita is, I mean, it's based off a fighter. So I'm going to say that this is not anyone to like, this is just a, this is something I can just catch. It's a, it's a person. It's a more humanoid Pokemon. So like, I'm not too nervous about not being able to catch it. Um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna catch it. That's a person. Yep, it's just a. It's like a. Is it a sumo wrestler? What is it? Well, never mind then. Does it, what is that? Wait, does that count for an encounter? If it whirlwinds me away, I'm gonna keep going straight. I'm gonna keep running in a straight line and see what I find. Cause that seems not okay. I feel like that shouldn't have counted. The wall, take the left, the wall, hit the wall, hit the wall, hit the wall, hit the wall. I'm just gonna go straight. Oh, there's a Litleo right there. That would have been cool. And take a left. Take another left. Go this way. Or the. <laughs> I don't. I'm trying to run into Pokemon. But without running directly into them. Like, I'm trying to run in a straight line best I can. And just kind of seeing what happens. Big fall. Big. Now we're in South Province Area 3. Wait a minute. Now we're, like, in a whole new area. Hold on. Let me... I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I think I'm not... Oh, I had dipped. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm not in the right. I'm. I just dipped into it for a second. Okay, never mind then. Yo, what up? I just won a subscriber. Nice. Thank you, Shiny Incineroar. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for joining the stream and subscribing. I appreciate that. Um, we're doing. It's a. This is a good time. This is a good time. Shiny Incineroar plays. I'm gonna take a wild guess that your favorite Pokemon is. Uh, Incineroar, perhaps, that it's shiny? Perchance? Could that be your favorite Pokemon? Could your favorite Pokemon be a shiny? Um, I'm just, I'm just going on a limb here. Okay, so we actually are not getting a new Pokemon because I happen to just dip into an area that I wasn't really supposed to be in. So we're going to continue on and just train up our team and keep on rolling this way. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew it! Just like I know y'all are more than like willing to join me on this amazing stream where we are raising money for the World Wildlife Fund. And it's been a good time so far. I think so. We've raised over $235.01 so far. So like that's, I don't think that's pretty bad. I think it's pretty good. I think we're making a lot of good headway here. I think we're making a lot of really good headway. Do I know your favorite Pokemon? Oh, your favorite Pokemon is... Charizard? Charizard is favorite Pokemon? To be fair, Shiny Incineroar is in the name. It's in the name <laughs> that that's their favorite Pokemon. Um, is it Charizard? I feel like there's a good amount of people that are like Charizard fans. And we have a lot, we have a variety of different types of like fans in like the chat. Where, like, we have a lot of people that are fans of, like, grass types. With a lot of people that are... Oh, three Pokemon would be acceptable. Oh, my goodness. Um, Typhlosion, Blastoise, and... Or, or, and, or... Uh, Hopip. <laughs> Typhlosion, Blastoise, or Hopip. I really don't know. Again, I just got kind of lucky with... Uh, shiny Incineroar. Grass types are pretty great. Yeah, a lot of people... It still shocks me how many people in here like grass types. They are... They're cool Pokemon, but, like... I don't know. I feel like that... They are... I feel like... By the Pokemon community as a whole, they often get overlooked. And that's just, like, you know, unfortunate. Because they're really, really cool Pokemon. And there's lots of really cool ones. Like, I've never used a Sunkern before, and I'm very curious to see how this turns out. Yeah, you do, Tommy. What's that, Team Evergreen type stuff, right? Is that what you post about, the Team Evergreen? Because that, that stuff's pretty cool. That stuff's pretty cool. I say y'all can hit up that bag, see how much money you guys got. A Hasty Mint. I feel like that's not going to be useful right now, but whatever. 
Full heal? I'll take that. That's pretty useful. A float stone? Okay, okay. I think it makes me faster, right? It makes slow Pokemon faster. Not a single one. Oh, oh, Weavile, Greninja, and Talion. I was okay. I was close with guessing some, like you know, um, some of the more like uh, starter type Pokemon. Oh, that's cool that you. That's cool that you like the later gen Pokemon. I feel like a lot of people like they're like, oh yeah, like Greninja is my favorite, but my all time favorite is like this Pokemon that was released like way back in the day or something like that. Who's this? Who's this gal? Can I fight her? Is she gonna? Is this gonna be a good fight or a bad fight? I don't know where I'm at. I'm just trying to find trainers to train up before we fight uh, Cloth. Yes, but I say, Tommy, protect Chikorita with your life. We love Chikorita. I need to change Pokemon. We absolutely adore Chikorita. Chikorita is a fantastic Pokemon. Um... I don't know why everyone doesn't like Chikorita, but whatever. Oh, night! No, but I say Gen Gen Six was a, is an interesting kind of generation to like get into type of thing. I think it feels very overlooked, but at the same time, with us getting new Gen like six, like a new Gen Six game, I feel like we're gonna see a really big resurgence. They did a really good job of like. Um, bringing to light Greninja, just because they gave, like, Ash Greninja and stuff like that. But, yeah, I'm really hoping that other, um, Gen 6 Pokemon get kind of, like, that royal treatment of being able to have standout forms and stuff like that, or, like, have things that stand out. Ooh, you're shiny hunting? Yes! So far, ooh, three Cyndaquil and one Totodile. Nice! What are you shiny hunting in? Like, what game are you? Are you doing it in... What are you doing, dog? Don't bark. I'm trying to, trying to run around all these people. Nice. Nice. That's what we're playing, obviously, from Coridon running around. Got Pokemon Scarlet loaded up. They're such fun games. Like... I get that they don't always play the best, but, like, I don't know. I mean, they're still really good games, in my opinion. Like, they're just fun. They're just really fun games. Yes, Corndog is over here barking for really no good reason. I think this person is... Ooh! Ooh! Oh, wait, no, because you're going to be... No, this makes sense. I'm going to use... I'm going to keep using Howard out front. Wait, do you really see a shiny? Hold on, do you really see a shiny or you're messing with me? Do you really see a shiny? Wait a minute. Or do you see a shiny in your game? Wait, who sees the shiny? <laughs> who is seeing the shiny? Is this a flying type? I think it is. So I can use you and use a Thundershock on it and be super effective. I need a fire type so bad. I need to, like, I kind of wish I ran into, like, a Litleo, but, like, as of right now, nope. Greninja guy, what's up? <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of like a, it's a little bit of like a double-edged sword there of like, you know, it's, we're raising money for the World Wildlife Fund, but we're playing a game that's kind of all about, not all about animal cruelty, but you know, it's like definitely, oh God, oh God, don't, no, 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 oh! Oh, Blitz! No! <laughs> no! Oh, God. Okay. 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 Gosh! Dang it! Blitz! Mm. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Water Pulse? This has got to do some decent damage, right? That's got to do at least something. For reals? For reals? How to avoid the attack? Hey, we might have lost Blitz, but we're not getting paralyzed. Let's go. I think it has a reflect up. I think that's the current problem. My special attack is falling, so let's just tail whip this thing. Oh my god. This is obnoxious. Wait, this Pokemon has the number... 
666? Wait, what? Hold on, is that real? Because I, I didn't know... Wait, what? Oh, Rain, you forgot headphones. No. <laughs> oh, no, I'm glad you... I'm glad you made the special trip back, though. True, it's only cruel because I'm nuzlocking and I'm doing really bad at nuzlocking. That's the only... Okay, I gotta wake up. I gotta wake up. That's a, de that's a dex number in the national dex? Oh, my God. Well, didn't know... Didn't know that was a thing. Yes, wake up, Howard. Wake up and defeat this demon butterfly. This butterfly from hell. It's really pretty. It's pretty. But, like... This is very unfortunate for me. Uh, scratch? Again? Maybe? Okay, there we go. It's making a little bit of headroom. It's making a little bit of headroom. And gotta heal myself again because I'm now extremely nervous. Extremely, extremely nervous that I'm gonna <laughs> lose. Because <laughs> this is. Okay, the thing that sucks too for anyone that's new or that anyone that's trying to catch up is this is our second. <laughs> this is our second run. This isn't even. This isn't even the first run of it. We already had to restart. This is. It has so many, yes, Greninja, it has so many, so many different forms, and all of them terrifying. All of them are absolutely terrifying, because all of them can just wreck you. Mainly because I don't have any Pokemon that are, like, super effective this thing. That's the, that's the downside. Come on, Scratch. Oh! One HP?! Hey, avoided the attack. Thank you, Howard. W's in chat for Howard the Duck for taking down this Pokemon for avenging Blitz. Let's go. Let's go, Questers. Let's go. That was their only Pokemon? Uh, do I want to have you learn Disable? I don't know if that's really... I'm going to not. I feel like that's not... I don't really want to do that. I thought this person had a Psychic type. I thought they had, like, a Shrewdle or something. Also, Greninja, yeah, like, the great... I like the Pokeball forms a lot more. The Pokeball forms look really, really cool. Um, well, dang it. Well, there goes Blitz. Poor Blitz, indeed. Blitz will be remembered. Blitz will be loved, and Blitz was honored with Howard's victory. Thank you, Blitz, for putting in all your efforts. This is goodbye. Our team is slowly getting smaller, but our team will also get bigger in a second because, like, we're going to be able to go to a new area type of thing. We're gonna Once we defeat Cloth, like, things are going to get better. Things are going to get much better once we defeat Cloth. Luxray is a fantastic Pokemon. I have a shiny one in, an, like, in my Violet game. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. And I really, I wish, <laughs> I wish we had a Luxray. But we don't. I And I also kind of wish that we could, you know, use any single Pokemon we wanted to, but that's also not the case. But that's okay. We're gonna do our best, Questers. We're gonna do our best. Where are the goats? So, it's actually the IUCN red list. Um, and it's... So, goats are in that category of, like... I think they're gonna be, like... Like, domestic goats, I don't think, are really, like, threatened or endangered or nothing like that. If you want to see the full rules, you can use the rules command, like, the exclamation rules. And it'll kind of give you an overview of, like, how the rules are working and stuff like that. I need to, like find more trainers too i know but i say a skidoo would probably like work in our favor we could we could add a skidoo i think and it wouldn't be a big deal i'll have to look someone can use the iuc and red list uh and look up goats but we also can't fight uh, we can't catch a skidoo because we've already caught we caught the shinks for this area so we have to go to a new area for it to count and that's what's tricky. That's what's hard about all of this. 
A hop hip? You gotta be joking. Okay. Well, not you. I'll tell you that much. Not you, because this thing's a grass type. Pokemon. This little Luxonk. Our team is such a... It's three Pokemon that are all really just kind of wild little Pokemon. And I don't mean wild in like a ultra positive way. <laughs> They're wild in the sense of, like, oh my gosh. They are the, like, beginning Pokemon that you find on your journey. But, you know, they can be mighty. I bet they'll be... I bet they'll pull through. Just like I know we'll pull through and get to $1,000 for the World Wildlife Fund. Uh, through donations, through sharing the event, and things of that nature. Um, oh god, you have Synthesis? Can get difficult. What is? Well, if I keep echo, if I keep doing echo voice, this will actually this will work in my favor. If I keep using echo voice, it'll work in my favor. Cause I'll just get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Yes, Chonkula, take this thing down for the questers for the fallen. A lot of goats are decreasing. For real? Oh my god! I didn't know that. I used to know the fun facts of what is there? Stop attacking me! Oh my god, stop! Hit two times, that's fine. Echo voice! Boom! Chunkula! Thank you! Oh my god, I would never think I'd be so happy to defeat a hop -ip. A bar brooch! We have. We have the Pokemon for the bar brooch. Our little Sunkern. This is like the first or second battle this thing's ever gonna do. But so, okay, that's good. But I say, goats are in a weird kind of category of animals where, like, there's simultaneously a lot of them and also, like, not a lot of them. Like, it, I guess it depends on how you view goats. Like, if you view them as, like, oh, goats that you see on a farm, there's a ton of those. There's a ton of, like, domestic goats. But then, like, if you look at goats in relevance to, like, you know, like a mountain goat, their populations are decreasing and stuff like that. So it's very, it's all very interesting of, like, okay, what goats are actually, like, in danger. <laughs> goats are in a very weird spot. And goats will also sit and stand in weird spots. Do you know some goats can stand at, like, a near 90 degree angle because their hoofs are like split like almost like a knife type of thing so they can lock their feet into like the wedges of like a like a rock face it's really really cool goats are like really really interesting in that sense of like why are you flinching stop flinching absorb knock it off Haha, -ha, your snore failed, which means I can't flinch, which means I hit absorb and Barbroach is down. Thank God, too. That's ridiculous. Our tiny but mighty team. Our tiny but mighty team. Yo, what up, Des Buggin? Yeah, like sides of cliff, like literal, like cliff fate. Like, it's wild. It's really, really cool how they can, like, just, like, stand on the side of a mountain. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of... I'm gonna get rid of Absorb. I think that's my best option here, just because Razor Leaf will do, like, big damage. And then I have Mega Drain. Salandit? Switch Pokemon, actually. Wait. Howard is good for Salandit. Ha ha ha! This is working in our favor. This is working in our favor. What's everyone's favorite animal? I've asked everyone's favorite Pokemon before, but what's everyone's favorite animal? I want to see if I know how many fun facts I know about people's favorite animals. My favorite animal to get it rolling, if you never knew, is an elephant. I love elephants. Uh, like, I think they're such cool species of animals. And they have a lot of really interesting things. Like, they have a very social dynamic to them. Where, like, they love to be with other elephants. They love, like, they will mourn each other when, like, they, like, pass away and stuff like that. It's kind of, it's a wild dynamic. Just because you wouldn't think that, like, they're such big animals, but they, like, 
travel in such big groups and they're such like group oriented social animals and they're a matriarchy females are the head of their societies Ooh, fun fact about platypus they grow they glow green they have bioluminescence in them which is absolutely wild like i found that out um because the guy who does phineas and ferb um what is this oh that's actually really good um the guy that does phineas and ferb what do i want to get rid of though probably echoed voice but yeah the guy that does phineas and ferb was like because he's gotten scrutinized in the past of like oh how come like perry the platypus is green and he's like, I don't know, I just made them green. And then come to find out, they have bioluminescence. So under like a UV light or like a black light, they can, they lightly glow a greenish color. So fun fact about platypuses, Perry the platypus is actually like kind of accurate. The color palette for Perry the platypus is actually kind of accurate. Learn something new every day, exactly, Timbo. Ooh, Komodo dragons. So, Komodo dragons, those are interesting. They're venomous, which was kind of a weird thing to like that I learned about. Um, but they also, so they're reptiles, which means they don't chew. They're incapable of chewing, which means a Komodo dragon has to swallow all of its food, like all of its prey, and they can like fit like a whole deer in their mouth i don't know i don't know off the top of my head if they're like snakes and which like their jaws unhinge but i know that they can like swallow i think they can some big ones might even be able to swallow like small people and stuff like i don't i don't know exactly how that pans out like i don't i'm not gonna go too deep into like what a komodo dragon can and cannot throat but they like if there's a pig or like a small deer they will just devour it whole and that's a komodo dragon's whole thing <laughs> their stomach acid is so powerful like they can digest like bones and everything like it's just ridiculous hey welcome back nelson welcome back just talking about animals um birds birds are all like birds are cool i've so at the zoo i work at i've become pretty good friends with bird team and so, bird, like, I got some, like, birds and kind of, like, duck facts and stuff like that. Um, oh, there's clock. Okay, so there's no trainers around here, which means I think it's time that we get the bets going. Who wants to start their betting on how many Pokemon I'm going to lose when I fight Cloth? This does take into consideration both fights with Cloth. He is a Titan Pokemon. I will have a double battle with Arvin, but I will not, um, Arvin's Pokemon does not count. So, you know, remember to keep that in mind. If Arvin's Pokemon dies, that doesn't bother me. Turtle? Or, okay, so, um, fun fact about birds, there is a bird. It was a, it's a type of, it's a type of crane. It's a crane. And... It's a type of crane that is, um, uh, it's endangered. It's like, they need it to breed. It's hard to make it, it's hard to get it to breed. Um, and so this crane, like, was, every time it was with another crane, it would hurt the other crane. It would, like, it just wasn't, it wasn't getting along with other cranes. But it liked getting along with this person, this keeper. And so... This keeper became the bird's, like, mate, so to speak, in the sense of he would present her with an egg, or he would have the egg or something like that, and it's like, oh, she would raise it for them, or something, I think something to that extent. But it's really funny, because the crane did a mating dance to him essentially offering to be lifelong partners to this man and he you know accepted so it's one of those things of like it's now this funny running gag of this guy's life that he is married to a crane 
and they live for, it's not like a, a funny little like oh haha ha, like these animals only live for like five or ten years this thing can live i think to be like for like 20 to 40 years or something like that it can live a long time so this there's a man in the world married to a crane so that the crane will have chicks and will help produce <laughs> more cranes of her kind which is just so funny so absolutely funny yes yeah, so so a lot of elephants can like paint it's kind of funny a lot of them can learn to like pick up the brush and like paint and stuff like that oh my god that's what a wild what a wild what a wild story right all right i hope everyone has their bets in because we are fighting cloth close the betting we have 1091 gold pieces on the line it's time to fight crab pikachu it's time to fight crab pikachu let's see if we can do it questers let's see if we can do it first off i think it gets terrestrialized twice so like water pole <laughs> like why not terrestrialize water bowls like maybe this will i don't think this is gonna one shot but like i mean maybe this will do a significant amount of damage that this will be really beneficial howard i think can do this i think howard can defeat the stony cliff titan okay what is block oh i can't escape okay uh howard needs to defeat this pokemon now howard needs to take this thing down good start bad start okay okay anger shell you know Oh, but its defense is fall. Oh, I forgot about that. God, if I had Aqua Jet right now, I would. This thing would be toast. Cause it wouldn't even be able to like outspeed me. Cause Aqua Jet would always go first. Man. Oh my gosh. Cause it's. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I was like, hold the phone, hold the phone. Battle's not over yet. I was like, that's not... Okay, so now we gotta go run down and fight Cloth again. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. That's not cool. I like that I can go back up. Okay, so now Cloth is gonna eat the Herba Mystica. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe I thought. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. It took away my... It took away my terrestrialization. I'm like, it can't do that, can it? Okay, we found the Stony Cliff Titan. Yep, and now Arvin, for the love of God, pull, pull your weight. Please pull your weight. I need this to... I need this to work in my favor, Arvin. This thing is amped up. You gotta do do your thing, Arvin. Come on, come on, Arvin. Don't leave me hanging here. Don't don't leave me hanging. I, I never understood. Does Arvin ever terrestrialize with you? I don't think he ever does. And that's so obnoxious because literally we're fighting super powerful Pokemon. And he's just acting like this is another cloth running around. All right. Well, luckily I'm locked in the battle. Can't, can't go nowhere. So, come on, Howard. That's you know that's not as much damage as before, but I guess that's okay. Life do. Eh, okay. That's that that could become that could become beneficial. That could become beneficial. Um, I'm really hoping, you know, it helps a little bit. It'd be nice, because now Anger Shell? I don't like that. I don't like Anger Shell. Is he really only terrestrialized when you're fight? That's so obnoxious, Arvin. Come on. And that's another instance of, like, I feel like... Yes! Ha 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 ha! Thank you, Arvin. That helps a lot. Rock Smash, that's A-OK. -okay. So I can take a Rock Smash. And final blow goes to Howard. W's in chat, y'all. Get those emotes rolling. 
We defeated Cloth without losing a single Pokemon. If you don't count all the Pokemon we lost leading up to Cloth. Oh, there he goes. Koopa! Yeah! Howard! Sign! <laughs> it did so good! No losses. No losses. Let's go. No one won! You all lost money. No one picked none. That's what y'all get. <laughs> That's what y'all get. <laughs> we didn't lose a single Pokemon, and no one bet on it. Everyone thought I was losing one or two. So... Joke's on you, questers. Joke's on you. <laughs> we had no, you had no faith in me. That's okay. I hope you all, though, did not lose faith in the World Wildlife Fund as they uh, fight to combat climate change. And we're all helping out with that, y'all. We are all helping out to combat climate change by just being here for this stream event and by donating and by sharing the stream event. So if you haven't donated, think about donating. And if you have donated, or if you don't quite have the means to donate, that's perfectly fine. Uh, all you have to do is share the donation link with maybe a couple friends or a family member and say, hey, we're trying to raise money for the World Wildlife Fund, trying to hit $1,000. The World Wildlife Fund is trying to hit $50,000. On Twitch, there are people hitting like $10,000 and stuff like that. Like, it's wild. There are people that are like crushing like these things but i think our community can definitely i think we're doing we're making great headway here i think we're doing fantastic work true i had a pretty trash record so far but hey i mean we're we're moving on we're at least moving forward we just need we're running into the problem of we need a variety of pokemon and that's what's going to be a bummer about what we're going to go Wait, no. What's next? Is it the Grass Gym or are we going to... Does someone know? Is it Grass Gym or is it Bombardier that we got to go do next? What's our next... What's supposed to be the next thing we do? Yeah, we got this. Thank you, Timbo. <laughs> we keep losing Pokemon, but we're at least making headway. At least we're progressing in the game. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. But yeah, wait, so what's next? What am I supposed to go do next? Because the grass gym is just around the corner. But I feel like I don't want to do that. What is Bombard... Does Bombardier... What's it weak to? Is If Bombardier is weak to... Um, water types? That's a good idea. Bombardier. My bad. I'm saying Bombardier. <laughs> Oh, it's a flying dark type. Oh, but I think then... Wait. Wait, I think that means... Bombardier's level 30-ish? Oh my god. What? Oh, so like fairy, fairy would be super effective to it. And I do have a fairy move. Oh, okay, so the gym is next. So I better find a flying tight Pokemon. Or something that can take down. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I have some Pokemon that can probably take it down, but oh my god. I also did random order. I, I did, like, I just kind of went to, like, what I could go to. But I'm trying, whenever I do the Nuzlocks of these games, I try to find the correct way to go like i'm trying to figure out like okay like what's the best approach here <laughs> like i don't want to i don't want to like accidentally walk into something where i'm like not supposed to go okay so we are we're gonna go to the grass gym next um and then it's bombardier and then it's um team star right then it's the like dark type trainer I think. Right. Yes. No. I don't know. Bye, Arvin! And your sad, 
Sad story. Your sad story. Arvin! Oh god! Those who know, know. Those who know, you know about Arvin. Oh. Does anyone not know about Arvin in his story? I'm I actually, I'm actually excited about that. He, he does actually bring a tear to my eye. Does anyone not know about Arvin's backstory in this game? Does anyone not? Because it's wild. That's fair. They they are they are kind of weirdly difficult, but I don't count. But I don't count the um the lead up. Like when I have to just fight, 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 fight Pokemon, I don't count that as like, oh, I lost a Pokemon. I count it only when I do the actual fight. Just because like, I thought that's part of the gimmick is that your Pokemon are just kind of running wild. Am I healed? Yeah, I'm decently healed. Let's put Lechonk out for it because Lechonk is going to be my next, Lechonk's going to be the best buddy. Unfortunately, I can't catch any of you yet. Where's a new, where's a new area? Come on, new area. Give me a new area. Give me a new area. Give me a new area. Give me the little thing. Come on, pop up. Pop up. Seriously? Seriously? I'm still in the same... Okay, that's fine. Time to go just fight people, and Chonkula's gonna be the one, I guess. Chonkula's gonna be the one. I know. Arvin is just, like, the saddest little story. He just... He just does everything he can for his Pokemon. It's just the best. It's the best. Alright, let's go fight. Well, wait. No, yeah, let's go fight you. Let's go fight this guy. He does it all for the pupper. Arvin. What a class act. What a great guy. <laughs> Wait, is this a student? Why does this guy look old? Why does that person look like they're like 40? What is happening? Also, do they have levitate? That's not a lot of damage. Ah, it does have levitate. That's such a bummer. I was like, do you have a levitate? Fairy type move? Are you, is this super effective to you? No, it is not. It's not. Oh, because it's poison. Okay. Right. So I need to actually switch to you because confusion can be super effective. Okay. 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 Here we go. This is my first time playing Pokemon Scarlet? No. This is the game that I originally owned, like, when I got Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I got Pokemon Scarlet first, and I played through it just for, like, just on my own personal kind of, like, playthrough. Uh, just to see how the game worked, and, like, just to kind of enjoy it. And then I got Violet for, like, stream stuff. But now I just use both. A Murkrow. Wait, switch Pokemon. Because now I can use Chonkula because I can use Disarming Voice, and that's going to be super effective. Okay, okay. And Disarming Voice. That's fine. Haze is fine. That's fine. We don't we need to worry about Haze too much. Stat, all stat changes were eliminated, whatever. Super effective? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. Come on, Chonkula. Come on, little pig. Little pig, little pig, win this battle. Okay, that's kind of a lot of damage, but I'll accept it. Ha <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Woo! Getting levels. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually... Hold on. I, we might actually be able to catch a Pokemon. Because I haven't gone to, like, this area yet. Because, yeah, I was here. 
I don't think I've gone over this direction yet. Yeah, because that was area one where I caught the... Ooh! Okay, wait. I want to set my marker. And let's go here. And let's go catch a Pokemon from area five. Ooh! Okay, okay, okay. That way we can help build up... We can <laughs> build up my team a bit more. And there's nothing over in that direction. There's nothing over here. Like a gym or anything. So I feel like this area... I feel like this is an area I can, like, go to and, it, like... I just, I feel like it's getting overlooked. So, we gotta not, we gotta not have this get overlooked, obviously. We gotta have this not get overlooked. Okay. And so now, aim monsters in the right direction, cool. Area 1, we've already caught a Pokemon over here, so nothing to do about that. But once we hit Area 5... It's game on. We can catch a Pokemon. We can catch a brand new Pokemon. And I'm actually pumped. What are y'all? What are y'all hoping that we can catch over here in Area Five? What are y'all hoping that we can catch? Why can I not? Okay, I'm gonna keep going this way, I guess. Is Area Five like up though? I feel like I'm going kind of the wrong way. Like, I feel like I need to go up higher, maybe. What are the levels of this Pokemon? Level 4? So this guy can't be... He can't be that strong, right? He can't be that strong. A Pokemon with a type we don't have yet? Yeah, that'd be great. A Flamigo would actually... That actually would be pretty great. I, I would dig a Flamigo. So... And this guy's probably... And this can also be a good way to level up, because... I mean, these guys probably aren't that strong, right? Level 11? Oh, that's perfect! Mudsport. Or mud shot. Ooh, yeah, there we go. It's gonna be some easy, easy points, easy points. A shiny? You think we can find a shiny over here? I mean, keep your eyes peeled, y'all. I don't know. I mean, if we find a shiny, that'd be dope, and we're def we'll definitely catch it. A Lechonk. Uh, I will switch my Pokemon. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Howard. Probably is my best bet for this, just to kind of knock it out quick. Howard the Sociable. Howard the Duck. Okay, so pig. Pig versus duck. It's a barnyard frenzy. I mean, well, I guess, wait. I think I said that, I, I, I think, is Psyduck kind of more commonly known as, like, a platypus? I feel like it kind of is. I feel like it's a weird mix of, like, it kind of gives platypus vibes, but kind of not. Do you remember the blue worm? The blue worm as in like... What do you mean the blue worm? Like is, like Wiglet? Cause Wiglet is a very odd Pokemon. No! Oh, I flinch. Crap. Is that what you're talking about? Or you're talking about like Gyarados? That blue worm? <laughs> If I guess Gyarados is considered a blue worm, it's kind of worm-esque. Oh, please just hurt yourself, Makahita. Come on, knock it out. Knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. Eh, alright. It's getting pumped. A little too late to get pumped. A little too late to get pumped, unfortunately. Water pulse, and take it out. Easy win. Easy win. Alright. Alright. All right, all right, all right. All right, moving on. Hopefully we can find... You know, I, th I think I think Area 5 is up higher. I think I am in the not right... I gotta, I gotta work my way up. Because this is still... Area 1. Can I get to Area 5? Yeah, I can get to Area 5, I think, right? Like, I don't need to be able to fly or nothing, right? Hey, should we go catch one of the poke one of the ruined Pokemon? <laughs> Add them to the team? 
Oh, shut up. Do I have to get... Wait a minute. Do I have to be able to fly to get... Wait. Do I have to be able to fly? Oh, shiny earth worm. Yeah, I do remember. Yeah, oh, now I remember. <laughs> if we find... Yeah. Timbo, that's why no one is allowed to hop into the streams. Because I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to get baited again. Like how you baited me with a shiny er earth or worm. Or earthworm. Like... That was the biggest, I can't, I fell for it twice. I literally fell for it twice. The fact that I, twice in a row, thought I had found a shiny was so unbelievably sad. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually, I don't think I can get to area five actually. Metal Claw, that's good. Oh, I don't think I think I have to be I think I have to be able to climb. I think I wow, I think I yeah, I think I have to be able to climb to get to area five. Well what can I hit area five though from Oh wait, no, there's a bridge, there's a land bridge right here. Okay, wait. Never mind. Let's Let's just go a different way. Yeah, yeah, but I say thank you, Aster. You're right. You're right. There's a it looks like there's a land bridge. Well, I was like, how do I how do I get there? Okay. So now that I know what I'm doing, <laughs> once we hit area five, we can catch a new Pokemon. And now it's just a matter of, am I gonna go in the right direction? I don't really want to fight you, Shinx. But I will. I will. Just to knock you out. Mudshot, come on. Super effective. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And no e e EXP. Okay. Oh my god. Well, how do I... How do I get there, then? Oh, I gotta like cut through. This is so complicated. Okay, okay. So I gotta like cut through like a back way. Is this kind of where I'm supposed to be going? Maybe. Well, I feel like I gotta go. Up on this little ledge here. I feel like I gotta go up and around. Area 5. Okay, so whatever we run into now, we're gonna catch something. We got confused before because we ran into this issue of... We didn't know what we were doing. Wait, there it is! The land bridge! And dad, we're gonna dash, dashing in a straight line, dashing in a straight line until we hit something. What are we gonna hit? And if we don't hit something, we're gonna turn. There's a lot of, I feel like there's a lot of opportunities out over here. There's a lot of opportunities. All right, hit the wall and dash. I missed a shiny young goose. Oh, did I? Oh, oh, another, another grass type. At least this grass type will turn into a fighting type though. But another, another grass type. Woo. <laughs> okay. All right, well. Hey, what are we gonna... Was there really a shiny young goose? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll have to go back that way so I can double check. As headbutt, that won't be too bad, I guess. Oh my god. 
Oh my god! Why is this thing like... Okay. Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. Bag. We gotta freaking heal ourselves. Oh! All good, all good. That's why we need the shiny sound. That's why the shiny sound needs to return. We need to be able to have the shiny sound. Otherwise, everyone's gonna keep missing these shiny Pokemon. Is there is there anything else I can use to fight this thing? I feel like there's... Great ball? I don't know. Bees and chat? Bees and chat? Hopefully this just catches. One? Ah, okay. Yeah, I need to weaken it. Okay. Keeps just wanting to use Leech Seed, but it's already seeded me. Can I... What would be a big... Oh, here we go. Let's just Tail Whip it once or twice, and then we should be good. Just gotta Tail Whip it once or twice. It needs to be back in the next... Like, that was such a good... That was such a good thing. That was such a good... Thing to have. There's nothing wrong with having... The shiny sound. The shiny sound just made the game better. But no, we can't have we can't have the shiny sound. Shiny sound can't be a thing. For real? Your first shiny was a Yongoose? Dang, that's cool. I feel like I feel like Yongoose is like a very like underrated Pokemon. Thank you for the beezing chat, y'all. Thank you so much for that. Hopefully we can put those to good use and catch this thing in a second but it really is an underrated pokemon it looks the shiny looks cool it looks really really cool like with it being pink okay covet and let's get this thing okay that's you know that's decent effects gosh dang it unable to move it's fine Okay, okay, okay. I gotta heal. Because otherwise I'll die. My first shiny in this game was a uh, giraffe rig, which I turned into a furigiraffe. And it was, oh, such a good shiny. I loved it. Oh, the, the, uh, the tarantula thing. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. You found a shiny... One of those things? That's so cool. That's that's a good shine. That's a good one. That's a, it's like it's like red, right? Type of thing. It's like a red color. Yeah, double giraffe rigs. Let's go. I like. I love the shiny giraffe rig and giraffe. I thought they were so cool. It was hiding in a tree. Oh, that's a good hiding spot. I never thought about them being like in trees and stuff. Oh my god. Oh, the yarn ball is red? Oh, that is cool. About to say, yeah, that will stand out. I thought I thought its body was red. I thought the yarn ball was still like the uh, white color. So I was like, gosh, how did you see that? That's good to know. And I, the evolution of it, Spidops, as are cool shiny as well. It's like, I'm pretty sure it's pink, right? Okay, so this thing has successfully healed itself twice. Back to full health. Meanwhile, I'm over here just trying to hit it. Oh my, you joking, a critical hit. Okay. Mm. Yeah, but I say the yarn ball is, it's, it's cool to have the yarn ball like that. It's cool to have it as like that yarn ball, but it's cool to see the evolution. The evolution is still pretty cool, too. I don't think it's red, though. I think it's like a pinkish color. It's definitely neat. It's definitely like a neat kind of look to it. But what would be really neat if I could actually catch this shroomish. Because right now I'm just terrified of touching this thing or like letting it touch me. Come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, in the yellow. That's what we're looking for. Come on. 
All right, now get those bees in chat rolling. That's how you catch Pokemon in these games. For those of you that don't know, you gotta use the B button to catch the Pokemon. Let's go, Shroomish! Thank you, Timbo! One, two, three! I need nicknames for this mushroom. What are we gonna call this Shroomish, y'all? What are we gonna call the Shroomish? Thank you all for the bees. We successfully caught Shroomish, the mushroom Pokemon, and we don't have to worry about if it's on the IUC and red list or not because it's a mushroom. Ooh, onion. That's a good, yeah, I'll name it onion. It does kind of have like an onion look to it. Like, especially it's evolution, Breloom. It does feel like an onion. Onion! And I'll even go one step further because you put the exclamation mark. Onion! <laughs> yes, we now have onion in the party. A little shroomish with, I think it has effect spore and I have the. Oh, that would have been funny. Yeah, because he does come like kangaroo. He does become kind of like a kangaroo. That, that, that is a good one. Dang. Yeah, that would have been good. That would have been a good one. Okay, let's make our way to the... Um, where I can heal over here, and then... Yeah, and then we'll make our way back. And continue our training before the next gym. We'll continue on. Oinkaloin? Wait, how, how strong are you? Level 18? Ooh, okay, so Pokemon over here are a little, a little more juiced up. We got some juiced up Pokemon over here. Unfortunately, we're still in Area 5, so not very helpful in the sense of we can't catch any of these cool Pokemon that we have deep over here. And we just keep adding, just keep adding more grass types to the team, which, you know, it's not, it's not terrible. Just don't want all the grass types. It's the second one you get the name? Shout out to you! I just go by what nicknames I like. <laughs> you think Onion's the new favorite Pokemon? I love it. Oh, right, I forgot. I keep we keep killing things, so I keep forgetting what we've named when we haven't named. Ooh, Sandstorm. That could be useful. I'm glad you guys like Onion so much. Um, I wish I could have other poke. I wish I could have a variety of other Pokemon, but... I mean, you do what, we do what we can, I guess. We do what we can. We do what we can. So where are some, as we, here, let me, I need to make our destination, this guy, set as destination. I can't run that way, so we gotta go this way, we gotta go the long way around, but that's okay. And while we're at it, let's do some Pokemon battles. You need my help? Well, we of course gotta help. Oh, she she's gone! She was invisible. We like, went through her or something. What? Is there really a shiny? Where are you seeing these shinies? Where on earth are you seeing all these shinies? She's level 19. Oh, come on, Snom! Yeah! You can't stop this hot ham! You can't stop the hot ham! And one more, Covet! Yeah! Boom! Snom is taken out! She's actually kind of strong! <laughs> We defeated the model. That's all the EXP I get? That's a level 19 Pokemon. Come on, game. Give me some give me some credit for that. Ooh, a figgy berry. There we go. That's That's what we like to see. <laughs> it's more berries. Ah, <laughs> oh, Zangoose would have been so cool.
Now you have me paranoid for, like, shiny Pokemon. Like... Wait, go back? What do you mean, go back? What else? How far back? Well, those aren't shiny. Those are all just angry. It's just a viper. Birds by the cliff? Like over here? I don't see... Where I was fighting the girl, I was fighting over here. What are you... Where are y'all looking? I don't... If I miss... I miss a, if I miss a shiny, I miss a shiny. That's just part of the game. I guess here we go. Here's the best... Here's the best indicator if I miss a shiny. It'll tell me. Doesn't it? Shiny Pokemon battled. I thought it would also tell me. I think it's also supposed to tell me if I've seen one. Are you talking about these Flamigos? I have no idea. I have no idea. This is why- Oh! Come on! Whooper! Run away. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know anymore. This whole game is nothing but clickbait. Oh, that's a good, that's a good Quaxley. That's a really, that's a really good Quaxley. I feel like Pokemon with Moxie are just really, really good. Like, that's a good ability to have. Am I stuck down here now? Is there a way out of this hole, this mud hole? I gotta, I gotta run all the way back to the other side. Are you joking? Fine. Run away, Shootle. Did that, did that thing say it was level 20? <laughs> Wait, what's happening? Am I in a dangerous area? Am I in an area where like I am like the weakest thing out here? Is the tax are over? Oh, oh my god. That's just a regular Gumi. Y'all got me so paranoid now. I am like... I'm thinking everything is shiny. I'm like, everything's a shiny! It's a shiny everything. Everything around here is a shiny Pokemon. Oh my god. Alright, let's get back on track and head on to the next challenge. Oh, because of all the... Yeah, I about to say, all the boosts would definitely... Well, let's fight this guy who's roaring at... Why is he... He's just roaring at himself at a cliff. He's just like, rawr. I think the Pokemon Maniacs in this game are so funny. Also, okay, he has a dragon. Disarming voice? Yo! What? Come on, come on! For real? Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. What? What? How did that, what? Am I not supposed to be over here? That's my question. Am I supposed to be over here? 
feel like I feel like I'm not. Let's go. Let's go back over here. I think I I might have overstepped. I can't tell if I overstepped or if I'm supposed to be. Or are my Pokemon just kind of weak? Like what's happening? What's go what's going on? Ooh, a shell bell. That could be useful. I'll take I'll take a shell bell. Um Give to I don't know. Give to you give to Shankula. Getting lost. It was a forfeit. <laughs> I forfeited. Which means I ran away and just chose not to fight. It was advantageous. It was an it was an advantageous strategy. It was advantageous. My Pokemon were all still intact. None of them were dead. I guess we're just gonna keep going and hope for the best. At this point, I don't know. Whoever says these games aren't hard, you, you, I mean, just nuzlock it. Then it just becomes much harder. Like... <laughs> When's the last time I played this? I haven't played this in a good while. I've made... Well, because I beat it. So, like, I've just been mainly doing online battles and, like, just kind of other little fun things. I haven't, like, actually played the story in a long time. And plus, you know, when I'm doing a normal playthrough, I'm not limiting my Pokemon. <laughs> That's the down. Right now, I'm limiting all my Pokemon. So I'm like trying to keep it semi advantageous. <laughs> all right, let's beat up this happy and then we'll call it good. Um, Cavet. Let's probably do some damage, right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. That's that's something. All right, Happy is taken out. I'll take that. Do they have any other Pokemon? Yay! I got some he a little bit of heal from the Shell Bell. Nope, we defeated the student. I feel like I'm going to run into issue, though, when I go fight a Bombardier. Like, because I'm going to... I feel like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need some stronger Pokemon. Like, I'm going to need some... Or at least some super effective Pokemon to it. Half my team can be taken down by a bird. That's not... That's not good. All squawkabillies. <laughs> Aw, Tina Mouse. Here's a good test. Are you... Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Well, they're not shiny, so... But I'll fight them. I'll fight them anyway. I'll fight these little guys anyway. You gotta be joking. No, yeah, but I say, I, I do not want to go do it early on. I want to... Not fight the bird too or Like, I want to try and do everything else I can to not fight it. Is that always going to do half damage? I'm going to get away from this. F this. F that mouse. F the mouse. Let's just... Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Oh god, y'all. We are just making our, we're trying to do our best, making our way through all this. Alright, let's see what, I mean, so we gotta go do, I think y'all said he's a pretty low level, right? Like, he's not too crazy leveled, so like, this won't be so bad. Right, like, 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 Lichon can handle this probably. 
I think Chonkula can handle this. We can we can take down some grass type trend. And plus we have grass types that can like, you know, be buffed. Like they can take the buffs. Level 16, that's not bad. You know, we can handle that. We can handle that. We'll we'll do our best. We'll do our best. They've definitely gotten strong. Yeah, that's a sure. <laughs> Thanks, Nimona, for thinking my Pokemon got. I guess they got kind of stronger, but what is on? What's Onion's deal? What's Onion got going on for him? Um. Okay, you know that's not too terrible. Effect Spore, you know that's not bad. Yeah, I, I mean, I think this will work. I think this can work out for us. You know, we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. We'll see how this. We'll see how this plays out. I hope. Okay, so now we gotta go to the some flora statues where we can, you know, do the whole, do the fun some flora test. And yeah, hopefully this works in our favor and as always we're gonna be since we're gonna be doing the gym here how many pokemon am i gonna lose <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious like i love that in your team it's like everyone is either forfeiting what's the team is it just like with the like quaxley thing like with the quillava you're not quillava the Quaxley? Where, where's the... Wait, where's the maze? Where's the... There we go. There's the ranch. My bad. Oops. I gotta talk to you. Here we go. Here we go. That nun god, like... I, I hope... I hope I don't lose any Pokemon. I hope I don't lose any, but... I guess we'll find out. Alright, we gotta go find 10 Sunflora now. We gotta go find 10 Sunflora. Which I feel like, I mean, we can do. We got this. That's the easy part. There's one. Alright, well, that's easy. Oh, hey, and there's two. Ha ha! Caught it on the run! Oh, does it fight me? I had no idea it fought me. What? All right. Time to see if we can, what we do to grass types. Not a lot of damage. Okay. Yikes. But I, I think we just need to have a better strategy. I think, you know, I think we just need to have a better strategy here. I think it's just going to be a thing of like, you know, we got to do like tail whips. We got to like, you know, use those status moves if we can. You know, just like really do our best here. Yeah, the three frames per second, Sunflora. <laughs> yep, you know it. This Sunflora is moving at lightning speed. Look at this thing's animation style. You get swept by a ditto? Oh no, that's the worst. Oh my god, the superpower duck could not withstand pink goo. Womp womp. Okay. No, need a bag, potion, What's that. Raise up this little chonk. Leech seed, get yeah, the okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, leech seed, that's fine, what have you. But now, should do some damage. There we go. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. 
He just took, he just took a couple, he just took a couple tail whips. That's all, that's all it took. That's a, that's a wild powered up duck. That's a wild duck right there. Just absurdly powered up. All right, and there's some flora taken down. Hey, whoa, learn dig. Wait, that could be useful. Oh, it's eight, this does 80 damage. Heck yeah, okay, get rid of mud shot. Now we have dig, okay, we have a digging pig. I don't wanna to talk to Skidoo, I'm sorry. Oh my God, you have an Urshifu in the back? Yeah, that'll, Urshifu will definitely uh, put, put some damage on people. Are there some over here? Where are all these things? This is the one downside of this challenge, is trying to remember where they all are. I think I can hop the... Yeah, here we go. Oh, there's one. Hello, Sunflora. Ooh! Can, oh, can anyone learn Poison Tail? Wait. Because holy cow, that would be a game changer right now. Oh, wait! I can learn Pounce! Ooh! I might actually teach... Yeah, wait. Oh! Oh! This... This is gonna be good. So, I'm gonna get rid of Stun Spore. Just because I think I'd rather have Pounce. This is gonna be... Oh! This will be easy now! Because now I can put... Onion out front. Do I, have any, do I have anything to boost it to real fast? Let's give you like extra small. Let's give you all five of these. Ha ha ha! Level 17. Nice. All right, all right, all right. That worked out. Oh my god. That is a broken team. That, that's some floor following me. Did it jump down? It did jump down. I think there's one in here. Haha! -ha! Found you! Sunflora. Okay, so we have six. We need four more. We need four more Sunfloras. They're all running at very low frame rates. Come on, Sunfloras. Follow me to freedom. To freedom! Or not. There we go. Up and over, Sunflora. Up and over. I love that they're just bouncing all over. Like, they are just running amok. Like, they are just going every which direction. Okay. They probably are. Oh! No, I didn't realize I was leaving town. Whoops. Okay, my bad. Ah, I didn't realize I was leaving. I'm not trying to leave. I'm not trying to leave. I'm trying to get back. Isn't there one over here? I thought there was a Sun Flora somewhere over there. There it is. I See, I knew there was some over here. I knew there was some over here. My army of some floras! Follow! Mush! Yeah! Oh god! I was like, I don't think I can go in the water yet. Okay. Eight. Nine. Is there one up here? Haha! -ha! Ten! Found him! Oh, this is a battle one? I mean, hey, good practice. Pounce, super effective. Ooh, okay. Hey, that's not terrible. And it speed falls. Okay, so I get faster. And I resist grass type moves. Okay. All right, this is a positive. This is a positive spin on things. Headbutt? Is that gonna be? 
That does a good amount of damage, too. It's level 12, but, you know. You do what you can. Because I can always do a team-up kind of thing. I can always team up where I use Pounce a good couple times to lower something's speed. And then I can, like, sneak in with, like, some other Pokemon to, like, help its stats. Ooh, Zen Headbutt? Shut up. Yeah, let's get rid of, let's get rid of confusion. That we have a, we now have a, have a physical attack for this guy. Haha, -ha, we got ten, we got all ten. And now wait, I want to do, I want to put, um, where's the quick claw? Oh, we have a sunstone. Oops, not bad. Give to you. Wait, should we evolve? Should we evolve Sunny D yet? I feel like it's level 18. I feel like it's a no. Should we evolve it? What are y'all's thoughts on evolving Sunny D? Like, should that should, is Sunflora better than Sunkern? Like, is that just like a you just do that right away? We did the gym test. We did the gym test. I hope everyone's getting their bets in because we are gonna take on. The gym. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, then, in preparation for this gym, let's evolve it. Let's get it evolved. Sunstone. Use. I had no idea I had one of these. Sunny D is evolving live on stream. Let's go, Sunny D. <laughs> A little Sunflora. It's cute. It's the Sun Pokemon. I've never used one of these before, so I'm actually pretty intrigued. Can it learn Poison Tail? It cannot. <laughs> I want to see what weird things it might be able to learn. Nothing of that nature. Okay, cool. All right, where is the... I'm going to go heal... And then we're going to take on the Pokemon Gym, y'all. We're going to take on the Pokemon Gym. And we're going to advance once again for the World Wildlife Fund. Remember, the donation link is open. And please share the donation link with friends and family so that we can get uh, to our goal of $1,000. As well as then unlock more Pokemon that we can use. We can only use a very specific variety of Pokemon right now. So the more, the more we got, the more... The more variety of Pokemon we can use. I know, Little Sun Flora is so cute, and gosh, I hope I don't kill it, but I, I might. Alright, who is ready for this gym battle, questers? Who's ready? We're gonna try to take on Otter Zone. Hi, I'm here to collect what's rightfully mine, my gym badge. Let's do this. Are all the... <laughs> I'll do my best. I will do my best to protect little Sunny D. We have 370 gold pieces on the line. Is anyone else going to drop any in? Otherwise, I'll close it once the battle begins. Running out into the court. Greetings, challenger. Ooh, what's up? What are you doing? How did he get up there? Why did he get up? This man is insane. This guy is literally like jumping off of windmills like he's Batman. He's he's acting like he's a superhero but he's an artist. It's very it's very confusing. He could have seriously hurt himself. He could have seriously hurt himself. Never skip leg day. <laughs> he must not. He must not skip leg day. But he's going to be skipping out on this battle. The betting's going to close. And we're going to fight. I always forget he brings out the whip. I always forget Brassius brings out the whip. Petalily? Okay. Well, Petta Lily, I'm sorry, but you're about to take a massive hit right now. 
because we're gonna speed on in here. We're gonna get real fast. Always faster, pounce! Here we go, super effective. Okay, okay. Speed fell, nice. Mega Drain, please. That's hardly anything. Petta Lily, you can't. Oh, and I'm faster. Not that I wasn't gonna be, but. Here we go! We're pouncing on this thing. We're pouncing. We're lowering. We're lowering the stats. We're doing our best here. Let's try a headbutt. Let's see what this does. Okay, not as much damage. That's fine. But it flinches! That's good. That's good to know, too. I forgot that that's a side effect of that move. Ha 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 ha! Yeah! The crit ending for Petalily. Nice. Let's gain some levels and hopefully gain some strength while we're at it. Level 18! Smoliv, we're gonna keep out here. We're gonna keep battling. Because again, I think I'm super effective with pounce. I think if I keep up this pouncing, I'll stay super effective. I'll stay winning with pounce. Oh yeah, that's a big hit. That's a, that's a nice, that's a nice big one. Tackle? Really? That's it? That's all you got? That's all you got, Smoliv? That's all you got? Boom! There you go. Another one. Another one, Smoliv. Headbutt. <laughs> there we go. Now we have Sudowoodo. It's actually a grass type. So it's it's crafty. You gotta be crafty. Level 17, I'm level 18. I'm gonna take this time to heal myself. Give myself a little bit extra just to see what it can throw out, but I'm not too nervous. I'm not too nervous. Truly Wudo, okay, yep. He's giving Pseudo Wudo. This is cool though, that he does give Pseudo Wudo its true form. Pseudo Wudo can finally be a grass type, just like it always wanted. It just wants to be a tree instead of a rock. And now it has the opportunity to be a tree. But being a tree means you come with all the tree weaknesses. Trailblaze? Oh, like that's gonna do anything. Not very effective, yeah. Your speed rose? Oh, that's cute. Terrastalize, pounce. Oh. Poor, poor Sudowoodo. Not realizing what I have up my sleeve. Uno reverse card, grass type. With a bug move. Yeah, oh, that kind of did a little bit more damage than I was anticipating. Okay, okay. Bag. Super potion. You just gotta take it one step at a time, questers. Just one step at a time. And we can do this. We can do this. Rock throw. There we go. It's not too terrible. Not too terrible. Let's go with the pounce. I'm gonna move quicker with a quick claw. Nice. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Making substantial damage. We're doing substantial damage here. Trailblaze. If you want, if you want a trailblaze, feel free, but. I'm still, I think I'm still good. I think I'm still good. Speed fell, okay. Trailblaze again. That's okay. That's okay. It's not a big deal. Right in the red. There we go. There we go. Right in the red. Okay. So, yep. Super potion. Our little... Our little onion is gonna do us proud. Come on, onion. You got this. Don't let up, onion. Don't let up. You can do this. You can do this, Onion. Pounce!
that rock throw it does that is a little I'm not a, not a big fan of how much that rock throw kind of ends up doing but it's okay it's okay well nothing else is really gonna do much <laughs> it's gonna do much damage i don't think like we have a water type that could probably do a decent amount of damage but it's a water type Here we go, here we go, here we go. Pounce again. I'm gonna use up all of our pounce. Yes! Avoided the attack! Onion! Let's go! Ooh, W's onion, W's for onion. We're just taking this thing speed down one notch at a time. Ooh! Come on, crit ending, crit end! Crit! Ah, that's close though. That's close. Trailblaze. Oof. Okay, and then, and then, the final pounce. Mmm, there we go. Against all odds, Team Corn coming in clutch yet again. Not losing a single Pokemon. We're figuring this out, y'all. We defeated Brassius. <laughs> Take that avant garde. Take that, weirdo. All right. The winning bet is none. Complete. Shout out to the questers that bet none and got some gold from that. Remember, your gold can be used to send me any Pokemon you want once you hit five thousand gold pieces you can send me any pokemon you want um and then i will add it to the team i'll just either if, if there's no slots open it'll replace the lowest level pokemon and now so i'm thinking i'm thinking i think i need to go fight the grass or not the grass the fire gym or the fire team star person because i have two pokemon that are actually gonna be really really advantageous for that one like chonkula is gonna be really good and howard is actually gonna be really really good for that and plus i'll run into trainers along the way so i'll be able to level up like and i'll hopefully find maybe a new pokemon i think that i think going up against the fire person level 26 are you kidding Really? 26? Man. All right, we'll just go to their area and find a Pokemon. The dark type one is the lower level? Okay. Then maybe I'll do dark type and then I'll go do Bombardier and then the fire one. But yeah, let's go see if we can catch a Pokemon like within the area. We might, we'll, we'll just do some backtracking. But we're slowly, we're slowly making, slowly making progress, y'all. Let's throw a little chonky up front. Oh, fire! So fire is supposed to be after. Interesting. Well, then, I'm not going to go that way because I don't want to run into... Yeah, I just won't go... Yeah, I probably just won't go that way then. I'll go back over here and let's try hitting up the Dark Crew. Because I do have LeChonk, I think, will be useful. And I think Howard will ultimately be useful too. So, like... That works. Uh, I'll set that. Because I think I can... Along the way... Yeah, because then once I go in the West Province, that'll be a new... West Province 1 will be a new encounter spot. So that'll... That'll work in my favor. Let's see, let me actually 
scoot on over to let's fly to this spot first that way i can find because i want to fight trainers along the. i want to make sure i fight some trainers along the way but i think i did most of them i think i fought most trainers yo wait is it wombat who even plays playstation scarlet what Sorry, I was trying to figure out what my plan of action is. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Wombat gel? <laughs> well, welcome, I guess, homie. I don't... I guess I don't know how to PlayStation Scarlet, but I'm playing Scarlet. It's not really a PlayStation, but... Um, let's get... Let's get another seven. Ooh, shiny water turtle. Nice. Nice, nice. Um, and we got plenty of... I think we got plenty of Pokeballs and stuff. I think we can handle this. I think we can handle ourselves in this vast open world. Let's continue on the trail and go find people to fight. And hopefully get stronger. And hopefully not have to restart the game. <laughs> I feel like I went that way last time, so maybe there's might, there might be people over this way that I haven't fought before. I probably should have jumped off the cliff over on this side to see. Oh! I hit a small loop. Okay, nice hey, small loop. Run away. I don't want to fight a level 8 Pokemon. Excuse me. Huh, well maybe there isn't anyone really over here. There's probably not really much anyone over here, actually. Because I fought... Ooh! Have I not fought you? I guess... Okay. Let's fight this guy. Let's see what this guy has up his sleeve. Who do you got, sir? Who are you going to fight me with? What? Will you... F courier, okay. Well, I got plenty of Pokemon to take down the Psyduck. I got plenty... I got plenty for this! We got plenty. Pokemon. You know what? Let's give Sunny D a chance. Sunny D, get out there. We let Onion take all the glory at the last gym. You can see how this little sunflower... Oh, well, that's already fantastic. <laughs> Doing no damage to me. Oh my god. Yep. All right. So, that was easy. That worked. Ah, oh, Mass Chief. So, switch Pokemon. It's a dark... It's a dark type, so Disarming Voice, I think, should be good. A Mass Chief? I, a Mass Chief would actually be pretty good to have. A little dark type dog? That'd actually be a pretty good addition. Okay, my attack fell. That's kind of okay, because Disarming Voice is a special attack. I don't like the Home Claws. I don't like the Home Claws. I can see... I did catch it. I caught it really early on. Like, I feel like it probably won't have anything to, like, remember, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong on that. If I do... Let's do a dig, actually, on it. Ooh! That was kind of a lot of damage. But I'm on the ground now. What are the attack? Okay. Just dig. Really? Oh, probably because my attack is cut. I didn't cut my attack. So let's try. I feel like actually, you know what? Let's yeah, let's do you because you might be able to knock it out pretty quick with a water pulse. Power the sociable. Oh, okay, okay. I'll give it. I'll give it a check. I'll give it a check. Let's go water pulse. See how this does. Should be a big hit. Yeah, there we go. I was like, oh, thank you for the hearts, by the way. Whoever's giving me hearts, I appreciate that. I appreciate the stream love. A mud brace. Which Pokemon? Let's go back to Sunny D. Give Sunny D some chance out here. 
in the rain. What? I like that. I do like that the weather changes, like, dra like the, in the middle of battle, just kind of drastically in this game. Like the weather can just like alter itself pretty, pretty organically, which I think is really cool. Okay, there we go. Oh, it has stamina. Okay. And a berry. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Absolutely no damage there. Raise relief. And another bulldoze. Not a big deal. This guy turned out to be kind of a decent opponent. Like, was a, the, the mass shift was a little bit of a struggle, but, you know, I think we're going through it. I think we're getting through all this. Okay, leveling up. I dig that. Worry Seed. What does that do? What does that do? A seed that causes worry and planting the target. It prevents sleep by making the target's ability insomnia. But, like, why? Oh, poison power. Mm, that's probably, yeah, that's probably going to be a good one. Do I want to, oh, do I want to get rid of pounce, though? I might just get rid of pounce just because it's not that it's not that powerful. Like it just I feel like it was still a bit of a struggle to get to even <laughs> like do damage to something that should have been as strong to. Oh! Chonkula's evolving! Hey! Okay, okay. Just what we needed. Look at this fancy pig! Chunkle evolved in the Oinkaloin. Nice. I've never used one of these. I've never I've never used one before, to my knowledge. So this will actually be interesting to see how that pans out. That's gluttony. Okay. Um eh, no, I mean not bad. Not bad. But we got Evo, yeah, we got bacon Evo. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Chonkula lives long enough to evolve. That's... Couldn't have said that last game. <laughs> Couldn't have said that. <laughs> Alright, let's heal. And let's move on. So that, I mean, that'll be helpful with the Dark Tide. That'll be helpful. If we could have the other two, if we could have a Golduck, that would also... What level does Psyduck and Berloom evolve? South Province Area... Wait, is this a new... Because I went to South Province Area 1. Wait... Is this a new area? No. Wait, it might be. 21 and 33? Yikes. I think I'm in a new area. I think I'm in a new area. So, let's see if we can catch a new Pokemon. I think I'm in... I don't remember ever being in area, South Province Area 2, but... Oh, wait, I was, still, I was still going. Oh, I got scared. Okay, this way. Oh, okay. And this, Captain Cluck, thank you for, oh! Hey, this is a good one. A level, <laughs> a level eight fletchling, okay. Um... Yo, bees in chat and drop those nicknames, cause, wait, well, I guess, hold on, what's, uh, it's based, I, I want to say it's based off of a red tail hawk, so let me see what a red tail hawk, can I even catch this Pokemon, based on the IUCN red list, oops, yep, how do I, oh, here we go. 
Red tail. Hawk, right? But like it's evolution, isn't it like a hawk? Let's do hawk? Is this not? Hawksbill turtle, no. I feel like we said it wasn't a thing, like it was fine. I feel like Oh, maybe I just spelled red tail wrong. Is it? There we go. Red tail hawk. Least concern. Ha <laughs> ha. We can catch it. Bees and chat for catching a fletchling. Let's go. One, two, three. We got it. All right. What do we got for nicknames? Reflectling the red tail hawk. Name it Finn. All right, Captain Cluck coming in strong with Finn. That's a good one. That's a good one. Look next to me. All right, we'll go with Finn for this little, this little one. Thank you, Captain Cluck, for naming our Fletchling Finn. Oh, Phoebe would be a good one too. What am I? Ah! Get look away! Get away! Shiny? Where? Where do you see a shiny? None of these are shiny. That's your favorite bird? Well, now I feel like I have to make sure it lives. Now I'm scared as I'm gonna kill it. I'll do my best, I'll do my best to keep it alive. I'll do my best. Ooh, it has big pecs, that's good. Ooh, and its attack is the thing that's gonna be raised. I love that. It has a strong attack. Fossil, okay, I was like, wait. I'm like, I don't see one. <laughs> I was like, I feel like a hop -ip is noticeable. And a Mareep is super noticeable because Mareep is like pink. Oh, it is such, yeah, about to say. Like, Breloom is one of those Pokemon that, like, it's very interesting. I've never really gotten around to, like, using it a whole lot. Just because I feel like in the main games I've seen Breloom's in, I've used other Pokemon. But I, I'm, I'm excited to use it because I feel like it's good. You saw something come at me. Yeah, there's a hop if coming at me. It's like, hey, have you seen my friend Jamer? And it's like, Ugh. accidentally took him down. The Fletchling didn't level up from that. That's a little obnoxious. But I say they're cool. I feel like I, I feel like they're gonna become a, like a, a favorite of mine type of thing. Like I feel like I'm gonna start using it more. I just haven't had a chance to ever like really use one. Okay, so for South Province Area 2, we found ourselves a little fletchling. That's what I'm hearing. And it's it's cool that it's gonna be a fighting type, because that's gonna be, I think, really useful. Like, I like the idea of it being a fighting type. 10 out of 10, I'm glad it's a 10 out of 10. That makes me happy that I got 10 out of 10 Pokemon. West Province Area 1. Okay. We have an opportunity to catch a Pokemon. We have yet to be in this area. West Province Area 1 is a new domain. Happy birthday to Nelson's sister. They're using chat for Nelson's sister. And emotes if you got them. And if you want emotes, all you gotta do is join the channel for 99 cents. Hey! Welcome, Jamer. Welcome. And you've made it just in time for stream to start? Homie, we have been live for almost two hours. <laughs> uh, 
I did know that. I did know we could run away from trees because I have done it many a times, Captain Cluck. I have done it very often in this game. <laughs> I have been running away every chance I get. Let's do a disarming voice. And there we go. Big pig taking down the little bird. <laughs> no, that's the worst. Well, I'm sorry that I... Like, that you had one thing to do during the one other thing to do. Thank you for making an appearance. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. We're getting pretty far in the game. We're just about to now go catch... A new Pokemon! Sprint! Yeah, mush! What will we find? What will we find? I don't know what's ahead of me. Sprint. What will we find? We're in a cave. We're not in a cave. That doesn't count. Oh, what did I hit? Oh, shut up. A Charcadet? That's kind of bad and kind of good all at once. So I can, so it's not based off of a, and if as long as I don't turn it into the ghost type, I did kill my starter. Yes, I did. Is it? Wait, is it a ghost type? Where does Charcot at? Hold on, hold on. Hold the phone. Is it a ghost type? It's fire, and it's evolution. I just have to use the Scarlet evolution. I just can't use... Oh. Effing chat for that. Effing chat for, uh... Uh, for me killing the... <laughs> for me... Killing the encounter. Um... Oh, I could have had a Fampy. Yep, get the yeah, get the chops, get the chops. Well, where did I go? Where am I? Was there any other trainer? Oh, I could have had so many cool Pokemon, except I couldn't have had all of them because they're like different. I already fought you. Right? Okay, yeah, that's all the way back down. What? Yeah, what a great. What a fantastic moment to crit. How how much better could it have gotten? How much better could it have been? The only time it would have been better is if it was during an actual battle where like I needed to like win. Well, I crit. I unfortunately crit, which means we lost. We lost the encounter, which was a Charcadet. That's fine. We have Fletchling, which will become a fire type. Super useful. Ooh, a Shuppet. Well, I'll keep the pig out, because the pig is... It's not going to be affected by anything it does. Um, does it have Levitate? I feel like it doesn't. Does it? Does every ghost type have Levitate? Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> nice. She does look like a math major. Or are you talking about the duck? Too bright. Oh, this person couldn't. Person couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle it. Okay, I think we have to because there's a mountain right there, so we have to kind of go the long way. To get to our next area. We gotta go kind of this long winding road. Where we will go to get to the dark type team star people. Because that, I think, that I think we figured that was our best bet. It might not be, but it, it feels like it might be. It feels like it might be. 
Ooh, yoo-hoo, kid. Let's beat up. Why is this kid in the middle of nowhere? This kid is all alone in the dark in the middle of a field. Like, what are you doing, kid? This is a bug type, right? It's a poison type too, right? Oh, no, it's not. Eh, I'm gonna use dig on it though anyway. That way at least I can like get out of the way. Rich parents? That's what that's what that's what the takeaway is. <laughs> this kid's in the middle of nowhere. His parents must be loaded. <laughs> Was disabled? That's okay. I'll get to use this move. <laughs> Venonat is a really cool Pokemon. When I played Fire Red, I used to have Venonat on my team every single time. Just so I could get its evolution. Which was Venomoth. Yeah, Venomoth. It's a cool Pokemon. It's a, it's a very cool Pokemon. I feel like, again, it falls into that very underrated category. I think a lot of Pokemon fall into those like underrated categories. That is fair. Our parents are probably also incredibly, incredibly wealthy. Like, we're going to this fancy academy where I live on campus. Living on campus is not cheap. But at the same time, that whole school is a racket. I have spent days in the wilderness. I haven't even been to this the nice room that my mom is paying for. Like, I stayed a few nights there, and next thing I know... My primary objective is just run around in the wilderness. You want to drop kick Venonat? Do you think do you think it'd be bouncy or do you think it would explode? That's th that's the real question for everyone. If you kicked Venonat, would it explode into a bunch of puffs or would it actually go very very far like a bouncy ball? Or would it just break your foot? Yeah, right? Like, oh hey, we are the most prestigious school in the entire region. Your kid's education is so important to us. So we ask them to leave. <laughs> we tell them, get out. And they leave. You, Tempo, do you think it'd puff out? You think it'd just be a... Just a huge cloud of, like, just puff. That'd be pretty funny. I I also want to say it'd be bouncy. It feels very bouncy from, like, its animations and stuff like that. But I don't know if that's, like, actually it being bouncy or if it's a, its feet are bouncy. I Yeah, I feel like bouncing. I think the, like, exploding into a puff of, like, purple fur would be, like, one of those things of, like, no one saw coming. Of like, oh, okay, we, no one could have predicted that. <laughs> like, oh goodness, that's not what anyone was thinking was going to happen. Okay, so now that I'm up here, I think I can reach the star base. I'm trying, I'm trying to hit the star base and not Bombardier because like, I don't really have, I don't really have anything from bomb from Bombardier. Like, I think I just need to be just more leveled up. Go this way, right? Or is it... Where... Hold on. Where on my map is it? Oh, it's like way over... Okay, so no, I need to keep going this way. My bad, my bad. Huh? What's a cool guy? Oh! I didn't mean to run into you, little guy. Sorry. Sorry, little thing. Little... What is, what is this thing? A nimble? Sorry, nimble. Your least favorite Pokemon? Uh, Bruxish? Is that... I feel like that's a solid guess. Yeah, we did get a Shroomish. You missed it, Jamer. We got yet another grass type added to the team. We got grass types galore now. 
And we evolved Sunkern into Sunflora. So Sunny D is now a full-grown flower. And she's beautiful. <coughs> Alright, Meowth. Get ready to meet your maker. This pig is sturdy. Is it Sneasel? Wait, is your favorite Pokemon Weavile, but your least favorite Pokemon is Sneasel? Because that would be contradictory. That's, that seems very contradictory if that's the case. God, this pig is hefty. Look at this pig's heft. Look at those honches. This thing is ready to battle. Close. I have no idea then. Okay. Flex Finn is getting some levels. We love that. We love that. Yeah, no one buys CDs anymore, Boomer. Don't... Yeah, no one... Nobody wants CDs. Ow! Arvin, no. I'm not gonna... Yeah, Arvin, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna fight this Titan. I know I'm probably supposed to, but, like... No. Oh, you don't like Sneasler? You don't like the Hisuian form? Aww. Poor Sneasler. What is that? These little these little nimbles are all over the place. What's wrong with Sneasler? What do you don't what do you not like about Sneasler? I think it's kinda neat. I mean like I get it if it's not your favorite. But like why? I'm kinda I'm curious. That's like that's my, my thing with like Pokemon. It's like I like to know why people don't like certain Pokemon. You want to burn it? What? But why? But why? Do you, what makes you want to burn this Pokemon so badly? I mean, you know who who hasn't drank milk out of the carton in their mom's basement before? Who among us hasn't been there? <laughs> You know? Oh! That's a tanky pig. That's a super tanky pig. But what the hell? It's gonna use Nimble Switch Pokemon? Um... I feel like Finn could actually... What level is this thing gonna be? I feel like Finn could handle it a little bit, right? I guess, yeah, if Weavile is the favorite, it does... I mean, it is it is weird-looking. It is a weird-looking Pokemon. I will not deny that. I will not deny that it's a very odd-looking Pokemon. But I think, I think it just kind of grew on me a little bit. Like, it was one of those where, like... It felt kind of... It was goofy at first... But then it just kind of like grew on me where I'm like, oh, like it's not, it's not so bad. I think the Hisuian uh, Sneasel though is really cool. I do like Hisuian Sneasel. I think, I think that's a cool Pokemon. I think it's a cool color palette. Very true, very true. We could have gotten a Hisuian, we could have gotten Hisuian Weavile, which arguably would have been like, probably would have been better i think it would have been cool yeah to do like what they did with hisuian sneasel and just kind of like change up its typing and change up the like color palette because it, it did look cool the sneasel form looked pretty cool but i can see where yeah the sneezler form is a little it's a little weird it does kind of look like just a grown man with claws Ooh, right in the red. Didn't die, though. Ha ha ha! Finn, and it's first battle. Good job, Finn. With a level up. Let's go, Finn. All right, all right. And that's a perfect time to grab a snack from this guy. It is Goomy. I love Goomy. Like, that would have been such a fun Pokemon to have in this game. I guess there's still time. There's still opportunity, but... I also... It's a dragon. And there's no way around that it's not a dragon to some degree, so... Yep. 
Yeah, I get it. I get it. Well, oh, yeah, I guess was yeah, I guess it, it is a slug. So I guess actually It would be more are we in a new area? We're not in a new area. Are we wait? Oh, that's just to where it's just saying where we're going. Okay, never mind. No, yeah, we're not in a new area. Yeah, bork, 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 bork. He's, he's going nuts. I don't know why. He heard maybe a car. Probably not. I don't know. Corndog does... He would want a Goomy. He'd be so... He'd, like, walk up to it and just, like... Or he'd, like, boop it with his nose. Whenever something is fluffy or, like, kind of bouncy, he'll take his nose and just kind of go, like... Like, he'll just kind of, like, boop it. It's really funny. Alright. There we go. Let's knock this Eevee down a little bit. Oh! Reverse guard! Uno reverse guard. Use the same move on me. And got my item. Nice. I guess I shouldn't give it the Shell Bell if I have a move that steals items from other Pokemon. I guess I should probably move that item around. Also, the Shell Bell really sucks. Like, it's not that good of a, like, item. It doesn't, it doesn't heal you enough. I feel like it should heal you much more than what it does, but it just doesn't. And that's a bummer. I'm also gonna move, well, okay, so, put away held item. And let's actually move you higher up on the list. That way you can be getting some levels. Change your position down there. Just do more, da duh. Yeah, just do more damage. Just work harder. If there's a problem, just, you know, just do better. Just work harder. Don't worry about stuff. That's all. That's that's the Pokemon motto. Is you just gotta you just gotta actually put in more effort, trainer. Is there anything over here? Is there? Mm, what do I need to use? Is there a trainer or something? There's a guy over there. Hello. Looks like a fighter. So it looks like I need Howard up front. Haha! Fighting types are the best. Howard's going to show you why that's not the case, necessarily. Howard the Duck. The Psyduck. How do you get your beard... Like, how does he get his beard to do that? That's such a specific cut of beard. Is this super... Is Zen Headbutt going to be super effective with this thing? Ah, we won't know yet. First move is to detect real. Okay, whatever. All right, Zen head, but now is it super effective. No, but I mean, did decent damage. Water pulse. If I can knock this thing out, though. Come on. How do you gotta detect every single time? When you gotta detect it. Water pulse. This thing has two moves. This thing literally has just two moves. There we go. That was just... I, I felt like that was just a little obnoxious. Like, I feel like he was just really... He was trying to make that battle way cooler than what it was, but his Pokemon... While cool, this wasn't very strong in that sense. Oh! I don't want to fight you. No... No, I don't want to fight you. Haha, -ha, we're able to run away. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, time to head back down this way. Ah! Not that way. Well, time to keep on moving. Keep it on the lonely road. As we go make our way to fight these Team Star goofballs. You want to carry a coin? Don't worry about that, kid. <laughs> you got... What is happening? The earth split. I split the earth. Y'all see that? Y'all see the earth just split? 
He can throw out a Teddy Ursa. I thought it was a Tinkaton. Or like a Tinkatuff or whatever. Okay, let's do... I mean, I don't know, like this. Aw. I love Teddy... Like, we all know this. I love Teddy Ursa. It's so cute. And I... It's taking all of my strength to not go buy the Teddy Ursa Squishmallow from Target. Because it's, it's just so cute. Like, I, I want it, but I know I shouldn't have it. Just because, like... I don't need to spend the money. I love everyone also using the appropriate um, emotes for this time of Corn Dog losing his mind for no good reason. Everyone with the Corn Dog. Tink a tink, there it is. I can't, unfortunately, I can't accept any Pokemon unless you give the donation of 5,000 gold pieces. If you have 5,000 gold pieces saved up, I will gladly take your shiny Pokemon. But, unfortunately, unfortunately not. Yes, Mavis, you are everyone. Mavis is everyone now. Mavis is everyone. Mavis is simultaneously everyone and no one, because I keep forgetting to give them credit for certain things in chat, and then at the same time, I call them, like, I refer to them as everyone. <laughs> Cute little bear to murderer. Yeah. It happens. Oh, a little Swablu. That's cute. What a cute little Swablu. Do you you can give me something, right, guy? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Hey, we got a prize! Oh, That's actually really cool. Yeah, that's gonna... That, I mean, that's gonna be beneficial. But who should I put it on? Cause that's... I mean, that's pretty good. I feel like for what's coming up, I want to give it to... I do want to give it to Oinkaloin, to the Chonkula, just because of, like, we're going to have to actually, like, fight, and it's going to be, like, a... It's going to be, like, kind of a tough battle, I think. I think it's going to be a little tough. Battle won't be easy, y'all, but I think we can do it. I think we can do it. We've been doing pretty good so far. We've, we've lost some Pokemon, yes. We have lost some Pokemon, but I think we are, you know slowly getting better in the sense of keeping our team consistent, keeping our team alive. Like, it could be much, much worse. And where is the entrance to this place? I think it's around the corner, right? Where's the big Team Star base? It should just be right over here, right? Yo, welcome back, Legends. You're just in time. We're trying to go... Here we go. Okay, we're getting close to it. We're getting close. Oh, you're from Honduras. Nice. Or you were home from Honduras. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Well, welcome, homie. We're going to be doing this, uh, this Team Star battle. Oh, that's a cool Pokemon. Shiny Squirtle is a cool Pokemon. I love it's blue or like... Oh, no. It's a, it's a purple, not blue. It's a purple shell. I was like, not what I was, not what I was thinking. But yeah, it has, it has a really cool shell. I was like, I don't know how to talk to this person. Like, I mean, the fact that this guy is just in, like, a wig. Wait, the shell's green? Oh, wait, its body is purple, right? Uncle Dingus returns. <laughs> wait, yeah, so wait, what is it? It's, is its body green? Or no, its body is purple and its shell is green? Or does, like, Blastoise get the purple shell? I thought there was a purple shell, but maybe not. The green shell is cool, though. The green shell is cool. Oh, it's light blue with a green shell. Where is pur- What is- Does it evolve and it turns purple? Or am I just nuts? I thought it had a- I thought it was a purple shiny of some kind, but maybe not. Maybe not. 
Oh my god, I forgot that whenever you do like these star battles, like there's so much talking. Oh, Blastoise has the purple body, the green. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of like shiny Blastoise. Well, that's a bummer. Like, whoops, got that one wrong, but that's cool though. I mean, it's still a really cool shiny. And I like that the shell is green because it reminds me of Mario. <laughs> it reminds me of like the Mario shells that are green. Which I guess now saying that, I'm like, I should have probably known that they weren't purple, but who knows? Who knows? Okay, come on with the talking. What the game? Yeah, I'm like, Director Cavill? Oh, look at this Mr. Cool guy. Look at this cool, cool dude. Ain't no way he's a teacher. All right. Time to handle this. Time to battle these Team Star grunts. Maybe? There we go. I was like, is it going to load? Okay, yep. It's the Dark Crew. What up, squad? You're going to send me packing? You're going to send me packing? Bet. Let's fight. Cool as a cucumber. Well, hey. I'll take you on right here, right now. Yeah, I'm, sa I'm a sassy kid. Take this, Team Star. Boom. What's funny is no one sees the star outline. You just see them go, like, it only looks cool because Game Freak made it look cool. All right, all right. The crow versus pig. Disarming voice is super effective, so we gotta go for it. Okay. Can I get, is this gonna be more effective because I have stab? Stat changes were eliminated. There was no real stat changes, were there? Ooh, yeah, that does way more damage. That's a way better. Even though it's, even though I have a super effective move, normal type moves just, just hits, just stabs. And it's also a special attack and I'm definitely a physical attacker, I think at this point. There we go! Another level up! Nice! Alright, alright, alright. How could you lose? Because you just don't know what's up. Hasta la vista! Alright. <laughs> oh, so what is- is this guy gonna battle me, or...? I like that he says best of luck. He's like, eh, like, good luck, dude. Like, hey, if you win, you win. All right, and I hope y'all are getting ready with your bets because we are going to be able to take on these Team Star guys and hopefully get through it. Hopefully we won't have to start again. That's the goal. That's the plan. Whether it happens or not, who knows? We got about 30 minutes left of stream. Let's do this. And I'm gonna move you, because you're just gonna be in the way there. Let's push it there instead. Oh, betting's not open yet, unfortunately. I will get it open though in a second. Yes. Ring a ding ding! And this does not count. This is the one instance where these, where I, the battles where I send them off don't count if one of them faints. It only counts during like an actual battle. Just because I have really no control over this type of stuff. <laughs> like, it's not a real, it's not like a real battle battle. So luckily I won't lose any in the process leading up to the fight, but... Ooh. Let's do this. 
Take him down. Take him down. Take him. That's a, that's a bad idea. But take him down anyway. Oh, per that's a good type matchup. Take him down. Take him down. Okay, Shroomish is taken out. I kind of saw that one coming. Where's a where's a soda pop machine? I need a soda pop machine. Pick up these Sneasels. There's a soda pop machine. Pick up these Sneasels. Let's get ourselves nice and healed. Yeah, refresh the party. Boom! There we go, there we go, there we go. Can I lose one Mon? Why? No, I can't. I can't purposely lose any Pokemon. Oh! Am I gonna heal? Oh crap! I don't know if I'm gonna heal. Ah! Oh well. I hope. I hope I healed. I hope that heals me. All right. We have 300 gold pieces on the line. The battle is commencing. So the betting is closed. Okay. Woo! We gotta fight this first DJ. We gotta fight Skrillex. Pokemon Skrillex. However you say his name. I'm calling him Skrillex. Yeah, I've done a number to your party to crash it. And... I'm just gonna keep crashing it, dude. Please throw out like a steel type first, cause I have like dig, which would be super beneficial in that sense. I know they cheat with the car. It's so obnoxious. Yeah, steel type up front. Let's go. That's what I was hoping for. Chonkula, you can do this. You can do this, Chonkula. You chonky hog, you. Dig! Ooh. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Metal Claw? It's actually not that bad. Oh my god. Okay, what I don't don't talk in, in between every single move, dude. Aha! Underground. At least I can avoid a move now. That's nice. Metal Claw. Miss. Big miss. Big miss. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Another dig, another dig. Shonkula. Go underground, go underground, pig. Why is the pig dig? Like, I feel like the pig should not be able to dig. But I'm not I'm, I'm not upset about it. Okay. I feel like he throws out a stunky, maybe? Which also would be beneficial because it's a poison type. Oh, he just sends out Reverum right off the bat. Okay. All right, we're doing this, I guess. Guess we're doing this. I didn't realize he just had the one Pokemon. <laughs> Aha, no intimidation on me. How much damage is this? Well, actually, hold on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. Some, I'm gonna do some tail whips. Oh, this is why the clear amulet is so important, y'all. That's why the clear amulet is so important. It can't lower any of my stats. Another tail whip, another tail whip. Okay, that actually wasn't that much either. Ooh! <laughs> no, I do want the pig to dig. I just think it's funny that it can. It's one of those things of, like, I feel like it... Like, I get the pig can be able to, like, root around. It's just funny to see it totally go underground. Wicked Torque. Wicked Torque ain't nothing compared to Wicked Dig. Am I, am I right, y'all? Am I right? Aha, clear amulet again for the win. I can just lower this thing's defense and just knock it out. Metal sound. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's not bad, actually. That's not terrible damage. Let's do another tail whip. And then I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a little something, something. I'm gonna try a little something, something here. 
defense fell again. That's okay. We're gonna super potion, and then we're gonna try because it's not a steel type. It's not a steel type. It's a pure dark type right now, which means we can get some, I think, normal damage with this move. Terra typed. This pig is coming in super handy too. I did not I did not foresee Chonkula being this useful. This pig is a diamond in the rough. Look at this beauty. This beautiful hog. Battle sound ain't gonna do nothing. Ain't gonna do nothing. Come on, use your diamond power. Let's go. Oh, that's a good hit. That's what we want to see. Let's go. Wicked Torque. Whatever, man. Look at this pig go! Go pig go! Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Look at that thing sparking. It's fuming. There's no way around this. One last big hit. You did your best, car. You did your best, but you're no match for this hog. Woo! That'll do, pig. That'll do. The answer, Nelson, is a pig. A pig would win in a fight versus a giant car. And y'all should share the donation link for that amazing win. For not losing a single Pokemon any of our big battles I vote everyone shares that donation link because this do that's donation worthy my friends that's donation worthy and none was the winning option because again we haven't lost a single Pokemon during the actual big battles thank you Aster for the W and the emotes using that brand new emote the corns quest crest Shout out Rain for making that one. This should be considered a cutscene, but it's not. Second turtle W! Second turtle! Let's go! Alright, alright. So now, though, so now's the thing is that we do have to go fight Bombardier. I feel like we just have, like, I feel like we have to. But I'm feeling confident with, I'm feeling confident with the pig. I'm feeling pretty confident here. Foul play, that might, you know, okay, so what is this? The higher the target's attack stat, the greater the damage this move inflicts. Ooh, okay, okay. That's not bad. Okay, so we gotta tell this guy to go back to class. Because I guess we're gonna be good stewards here. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool, whatever. Go back to school. Go back to school, please. Just go back to school. I don't care what you're talking about. Okay, okay, cool, yeah, good job, guy. I just wanna go I just wanna go fight more Pokemon. I just wanna go fight more Pokemon. <laughs> there is so there is so much talking that happens in these games. Which is like fun when you're playing normally. Like from a storytelling perspective, it is a good method of storytelling, but it is just so boring when you're like not. <laughs> Okay, yep, he's no longer the captain. I took him down. No worries there, no worries there, Cassiopeia. Thank you for the LP. Nice little league points, and I can use more TMs now. Nice! I wonder if I can make... Can I... I wonder if I can make an electric 
Or a rock. I wonder if anyone can learn a rock or electric move. And I just don't have it yet. Okay. Thanks, thanks, Penny. I, I do remember you, Penny. That's not... This isn't a wild concept. I remember people. Thank you for the materials. Thank you for the materials. Ooh. Okay, Penny. Goodbye. I love her giant. I think her giant EV backpack is the greatest envy of all Pokemon players. We're in, wait, we're in West Province Area 1 now. Technically. But I feel like, I feel like we should go, I feel like we should save it. And go back. Wait, no, we've always been in West Province Area 1, haven't we? Oh, yeah, 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 never mind, never mind. Never mind. We're not in a new area. I thought we were in I thought we were in like a new area for a second and I was like, "Ooh, we can get a new Pokémon." But I was like, "Well, we should wait cuz should probably see how it all plays out first. Let's see if I can make any TMs. It'll be beneficial." I feel like we can. Let's see here. Let's see. Uh Filter by learnable moves. Yes. Okay, mud slap. That's good, I guess. Oh, I don't have. Oh, I don't have like any known. Oh, it's a bummer. All right, whatever. So no, can't can't make any TMs that are too outrageous then. But I mean, I think. I think the pig can handle it. I think the pig can handle it. It's a dark flying type, so like, I don't think it's gonna be too crazy. I don't think it'll be too crazy. Let's definitely get some, I definitely wanna buy some more stuff. I definitely wanna buy some more potions. Well, I have 12, that's actually not too bad. And I have 13, I, okay, you know what? Actually, I think I'm fine. I actually think I'm okay. Save that money. Save that money for a good cause in a rainy day, just like how we're trying to raise money for the World Wildlife Fund, y'all. And raise all those good funds. And help save the planet, as well as save animals across the planet. Is there a trainer back here? I don't... Ooh! There is. Hello, good sir. A lovely prize? Let's put you up front, and let's remove... Put away held item. Yeah. Let's put that away for right now. Put that thing away. So like, yeah, like, cause Bomb Bombardier would be the next one, right, chat? Like, right, everyone? The next Pokemon we have to go fight is Bombardier, cause, right? I'm trying to, I feel like I can never remember the exact order of things, but I feel like Bombardier would be next. And then, what do we go fight? The, is it electric gym and then it's... And then is it electric and then fire? Can I use a Zen headbutt on this thing? Accuracy fell, that's okay. Oh, come on. You paralyzed. Bombardier electric fire. Okay, cool. Good to know, good to know. I feel... I guess I keep forgetting that. <laughs> I did, I did the game in, like, all the wrong orders, like, when I first played. I'm gonna swap that out. Actually, I'll swap it out for you, because you can probably do some good damage here. So, let's go onion with a double exclamation mark. Nice. Okay, okay. Let's go leech seed. I'm gonna seed this thing, I'll poison it, I'll headbutt it, I'll get this thing down. You know what? I'm just gonna keep attacking it because now with the rollouts, I don't <laughs> I don't want that to go south. 
just gonna start taking all of its health as fast as I can. Oh, I should have used roll it, because then I... I should have used headbutt, because then I could flinch it. Let's see if I can flinch it. I feel like two, I'm like... I feel like this is gonna do a good amount of damage. I'm like almost level 20, right? Headbutt! Big hit, big hit! Yeah, there we go. Dunsparce is out for the count. And hey, some levels. Love that. Flail? Uh, no, don't run Flail. Okay, is there any other person to battle up here? Might be... Oh, there is. Oh, it's Phalanx. That would be... That would be such a fun Pokemon to have. Dang it. Maybe we can get one in the desert. Maybe that's what we're running to. The desert, I'm, I'm really intrigued for what... When we get to, like, the desert area. Because then we're going to really, I feel like, run into a bunch of stuff. Oh, I got something super effective for this, though. I got something super effective. Come on. You swap in. Go, here we go, here we go. Chonkula. <laughs> Super effective, but hey, I was able to withstand it, so I love that. And a nice fast pig. Pig's faster. Bulldoze. I like that bulldoze is a move that is missed when using dig, but then when an earthquake is used and you have and you're using dig. It does double the damage. Like, that feels weird to me. I feel like that's kind of off. Like, I feel like Bulldoze should have... You should still be able to hit someone using Dig. I'm glad you can't. Because, obviously, that just makes my life easier, but... I feel like that's a little silly, not being able to hit someone... When they're underground, and you're using a move that, like, literally shakes the ground. Ooh, Hex. That's not bad. I don't think I have any Pokemon that could utilize Hex, but... Never know. Okay, so let's put... Is it that one? Yeah, the Flying Titan set his destination. It's going up here. Maybe I'll find more trainers as well. Because part of today, too, would be nice... Like, it'd be nice just to have, like... It's also kind of like a training day, like just extended extended playthrough and also training day. A mass outbreak of Skidoo? Well, no one's shiny, so that's okay. True, they go on the ground. Yeah, they go on the ground. I was more so thinking of it from the perspective of it shakes the ground. But like, I mean, I, I guess, I guess, yeah, that does. It makes sense. Like I get, I get why it wouldn't do double the damage like Earthquake does. Like, if what is this? These things are everywhere. I don't want to fight these little things. Yeah, I, but I, I think my thing with it is it just it's confusing because it's like. But I guess if it is just that, if it is that idea of it is just the top layer, of like, the Earth, and if you're. If you dig down deeper, like if that's the point, you're digging so deep that you can't get hit by that. I guess that does make some sense. I guess I cannot be so critical of the Pokemon moves. I guess I should not be so critical. But I feel like, I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's kind of interesting to have that kind of be like a gimmick or something. Alright, moving on. And we got spit out down here. I don't think there's anyone to fight over here. So that's okay, because we'll just keep on. There might be someone over here, actually. There might be. I think there's a trainer over here somewhere, maybe. Uh, oh, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, 
Huh. Oh, no. Ha ha. Here we go. There is someone. I need to get... Hold on. I need to heal this... Paralyze heal. Here we go. Use... Heal up Howard. Because Howard needs... Howard doesn't need to be... Howard doesn't need to be paralyzed. That's just... Just not necessary. Okay, okay. Challenged by the model. I like that in this game there are just models strung about in the world. Like, they're just hanging out. Like, just on paths. Not even near cities. It's just like, yep, there's a model here. She's having fun. She's just out and about. Ooh. That's kind of tanky. Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you, Oink One. Hurt yourself. Ah, crap. Oh, big crap. That was kind of a lot of damage. Can I... Well... I feel like Chon my own Chonkula is going to be probably the best option here. Just because I don't want to... That was kind of a hefty amount of damage. Me, please hurt yourself on the confusion. Like, on the switch out. Okay, see, that's, I can tank that. I can take that. Uh... Hold it. Let's try this thing. Decent, decent, decent. Yeah, a little bit of self damage. Love that. And dig. I'm gonna go hide underground real fast so you can't get me. Another self attack. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Boom! Oh. Almost enough. Almost enough. Okay. Yeah, let's try that. There we go. So that was a little, that was a little risky. I'll be honest on that one. That was, a, that was a tad risky going into... Ooh, a Luxio. I will switch Pokemon, actually. Because I... I do want to have I want to have Onion get out there because Onion I think what evolves at 21. Hey, later Nelson, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining, and we'll be back next week at our normal times of Tuesday and Wednesday from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central. We'll be doing more of a night stuff. <laughs> so Leech Seed. Oh, shut up. Oh, you have Ice Fang. It didn't do a lot of damage. Kind of didn't do a lot. Not that... Ooh, I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know how to feel about that. Fire Fang? Oh, come on! Why do you have these? Can I Leech Seed? Oh, God! Right at the end there. Right at the end there. Okay, okay. Okay, time to swap, time to swap, time to swap. It's seated, which is what really matters here. That's what really matters. Can I even swap comfortably? Ooh, I don't know, oh, I don't know if I can, oh crap. Okay, actually, so, super potion to use on you. I was like, I can't, can't swap there. Hey, what's up, plushy man? Welcome to Corn's Quest. We are trying to raise money the World Wildlife Fund um, through Pokemon, and we're doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke. So we are currently trying not to lose any Pokemon right now. How are you, homie? How are you? I'm going to then also heal. Oink loin. Okay. Chonkula, yes. Oh, goodness. I'm glad you're good. I'm glad you're good. Uh, quick, like, quick, like, remind me, like, is this, like, your first stream, or, like, have you been here kind of before? I, it's hard for me to keep track of, like, everyone that comes and goes, unfortunately. <laughs> I feel bad about, I feel bad asking, but it's, like, I'm trying to not stream on a regular, like, we don't normally stream on Saturdays, so I never really know. Spang, okay. Come on, pig! Do some damage, do some damage, do some damage. And dig. This will be super effective. And if we just 
end this battle. Hopefully this ends it. Thunderfang, oh my gosh. I like that this thing had all of the all the fang moves. All the moves. Easy. There we go. Ooh, Mavis is checking. Mavis is gonna check the bag. But I say, because we're about to head into another big battle. About to go for another big battle. Mavis, you're getting close to 5,000. You're getting pretty close. Oh, I thought... Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's a funny challenge. Well, hey, thank you for joining. I appreciate that. And um, that air, that area lock sounds wild. Like that's crazy. That is a ridiculous. That's a ridiculous, ridiculous like <laughs> challenge. Oh my God, Aster! I didn't even see that. Yeah, Aster is crazy close. Okay. So we're gonna be heading up to Bombardier, which means it's time for another bet. Time to see what y'all can bet on yet again. I'm gonna head up to the top of the mountain, not getting hit by boulders, not getting hit by boulders. Oh, I need to fix my items. Hold on. Bag. I need to give. Clear amulet to you. You. I I truthfully didn't even know you could get a shiny charm in Arceus. I thought like like I didn't know that was a oh well, no yeah I didn't even know you could get a shiny charm in Arceus. I thought it was like I thought shiny charms were like more of like mainline games kind of only type of deal. Oh. We arrived. This big, everyone got their bets in. Is everyone gonna put this stuff in? Hey, shiny Starly, nice. That's a good one, that's a good one. So far we've been on a run of not losing a single Pokemon in these big battles today. We got Chonkula up front. I think that's probably a pretty solid option there. Timbo got 100 on none. Timbo's betting we're not going to lose a single Pokemon here. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way or not. We, we get about to say, we're going to fight this Bombardier, which is like, I think based off of a Stork. And Storks are hard. They're gnarly creatures in real life. Like, Storks are not nice birds. Birds are kind of aggressive all around. <laughs> but Storks have just very interesting, like, features and... It's, it's wild because, like, their beak's so, so sharp. Like, there's no... Like, they literally have to be able to spear fish and, like, spear small rodents. So, it's kind of funny that in this game, though, they made it... Like, it throws rocks instead of bashing rocks apart or something like that. Like, I don't know. It's kind of an, it's kind of an interesting thought, but... Not too bad, not too bad. Hey, shout out to the space-time distortion. That's nice. All right. I'm getting too cocky, you don't trust? I don't know, yeah, I have... Ugh. I don't know, this thing's pretty menacing. I, I, I don't know how it's gonna go down. Right now, my, like, whole getup is trying to keep... Hold on, wait. What am I... Did my YouTube go down? What? Wait a minute. Oh no, wait, it's still going up, right? Oh yeah, no, we're good. I just got I just got an error notification of like that YouTube wasn't responding, so I was like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay, let's I'm gonna try tail whipping this thing a little bit. I'm gonna try using the tail whip. Okay. Rock throw. That's not bad. That's not too terrible. Oh, did I close the betting? Whoop. Betting closed. <laughs> no additional no additional bets can be made now. Wing attack. Okay. That's not too crazy. All right. Before I start getting into this, let's... Oh, my God. Why is it saying it's not responding again? 
20. Uh, no, I'm fine. Ah! Well, let's use a po let's use some potions. I'm only in the yellow. It should be fine. This should be fine. Because then if I terastalize and use some moves, this might pluck. Not bad, not bad. I feel it. I'm just nervous for, like... I'm, I'm nervous for the whole, like, if something becomes a critical hit. That's where I'm getting nervous. It's like, I don't want anything to crit. Unless I'm the one critting. All right, let's do this. Terrasal, we're gonna hopefully do some big damage. Hopefully it's gonna be big damage on this thing. Oh, that's a that's a bummer. Gotta play, yeah, gotta play around the crit. Gotta play around the crit. And hopefully it won't lag. Hopefully it doesn't lag. Pluck, not a big deal, not a big deal. Not a big deal, because we are super power pig. We're a super power pig, y'all. Oh! Oh, very super powered pig. And I'm just nervous for my own sake. God, that was two tail whips. Holy cow! Okay. Um, I mean, I guess another one. Let's end it. Rock throw? Ooh, right in the red. Yeah, that's a... That's, not a great spot to be, but, you know, it happens. Alright, Bombardier. He got taken out. Now, the biggest thing is, yeah, am I going to have time? I don't think I have time to heal in the middle of it, so I think I'm going to have to heal at the start of the battle. Which is going to suck. Yeah, right, I'm just like, hey! Drink this! Drink this water! Chonkula! This is for you! It's like, pour a bunch of water on it, it's like, Argh. That's kind of funny, it's like... Do, like, do the Pokemon, like... Is, is everyone chill? Does everyone, like, if your Pokemon starts taking a drink, do they just like, Oh yeah, I'll stop and take a drink. Okay, he has the rock type. I am super not healed. I feel like I need to use, yeah, lemonade, here we go. Drink some lemonade, drink some lemonade, Chonkula. Get a little extra dense with some lemonade. Here you go. There, my pig had some lemonade and it should be good now. Rock throw, still not too bad. That's actually not too bad. Rock polish, come on, you have super effective moves. I feel like you could use a little bit, you could do a little bit more. Do a little bit more to help. I'm just glad though now that I don't take all the damage. Oh! Smack, that's good. That's a smackdown. Oh. This thing's now, it's on, it's on the ground now. It's now on the ground. Which is good for me, because I can hopefully get it. I can hopefully hit it with a dig if I needed to now. But I don't think I'm going to need to. I don't think I'm going to need to. Just, again, to play it safe, because this freaks me out. Again, I'm, I'm not getting cocky. I'm not... I'm getting cocky, but I'm not making mistakes. That's... I guess that's more so what I should say. I'm getting cocky, but I'm not going to make many mistakes. Rock throw on the rock type. How is that doing that much damage? All right. Come on, big normal energy. Normal type Pokemon for the win, y'all. Like, this is incredible of how useful this pig became. Like, I'm a little nuts that it's become so useful. Torment? That's not a big deal. It's a little late in the game to be using Torment. And final hit, final hit. Let's go, Questers! We did it! We took down another, another boss Pokemon battle. 
without losing a single Pokemon. Look at that proud, proud pig. Chonkula, you deserve all of the win. You deserve all of it. Thank you, Questers, for all the extra love in the chat. W's, the emotes. We love it. We love it. And shout out to everyone that picked none. Y'all knew what's up. What's being replaced with Screech? Oh, yeah, get rid of Tail Whip. Woo! There we go. And an Evo! Oh, we're getting an Evo! Yeah, fit right at the end of stream, too, at 4.30. We get an evolution. Yeah! Finn evolved into Fletchender. This is cool. This, t this team's starting to really round out. We're starting to bring it together. We're starting to bring it together. Ooh, Flame Charge. Yes. What is this one? It's Power 50. I feel like, you know what? We're just going to get rid of Quick Attack here. We're just going to get rid of Quick Attack and call it good. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> there we go. There we go, Questers. Right? And just like that, we took down... We took down Cloth. We took down... Uh, Brassius. We took down the first star boss. And we took down... That's four. We got four badges under our belt today, y'all. That was a great... This is a great use of time. This has been great. Oh my gosh. Well, I want to thank all of you for joining this live stream in support of the World Wildlife Fund as they try to combat climate change we are trying to raise one thousand dollars as a channel and the world wildlife fund is trying to raise fifty thousand dollars so y'all can be a part of that as well and y'all are a part of that by joining the stream and supporting the channel um if you want to support the channel and also give back to the world wildlife fund all the merch all the merch that i'm giving out right now uh you can buy it on my bonfire page which is linked in the chat um there is a uh, there's a bonfire link that you can go to, and I will be donating all the profit that I receive to the World Wildlife Corns Quest Fund to hopefully raise more money. Hopefully, hopefully we can hit one thousand uh, dollars and unlock more Pokemon. At five hundred dollars, we can unlock more Pokemon to use, and we are so close. We are almost there at two thirty-five and one cent. <laughs> It was a great stream. Yeah, we had lots of major battles. We had, like, we did lose a few Pokemon at first, but, you know, we're starting to kind of get into it and stuff like that. I'm starting to kind of learn again how to run a team because I've been doing one Pokemon challenge for a while now. So that's been fun. That's been fun. Yeah, have a great weekend, everyone. If you want more Corn's Quest, be sure to uh, follow me on social media. I've been putting out some awesome content uh, to see along the way. You want to see Zombie Dog? Get us to 1,000 or get yourself to 5,000 uh, gold pieces and you can see Zombie Dog on stream. You can send me a zom Zombie Dog. But it's been a blast today, y'all. I've really, really had fun this afternoon. Um, we'll be back Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Uh, our normal time from 8 p.m. Central to 10 p.m. Central. Continuing streaming for the World Wildlife Fund. So if you know people they have yet to be a part of the stream. Send them the link. Invite them. Be like, hey, why don't you come watch this with me? Or like, hey, if you like Pokemon content with lots of animal facts, you should check out Corn's Quest. Or just share the donation link with people, uh, friends and family. Because we're doing this as a team, y'all. Like, it, that's the whole thing, is that it takes all of us to make a difference in the world. So, it takes everyone to raise money for the World Wildlife Fund and make a difference and hopefully combat climate change and just, you know, have a brighter future for, like, later generations and for our generation. For everyone that just wants to live on Earth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, thank you all so much for joining. I will not keep y'all any longer. I hope y'all have a great rest of your weekend. Hopefully the weather is nice for everyone and everyone can get outside, have some fun, enjoy the fresh air. And until next time... Happy questing, y'all.